He was a crip in blood. Crip. He's a crip. Oh, he's a crip? We lie, fellas. Oh. Manfield. <laughs> <laughs> they are hard. We lie. Yeah, Chad already gone. the chat they be thinking motherfuckers be getting fun punished and fired yeah yeah yeah, yeah. free McCann. Not here. the first one is like free McCann. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with y'all can't be that yeah, man, like, nah man. man we got a schedule it's a schedule man it's a, it's a schedule, schedule my nigga what the it's fuck it's a safety schedule <laughs> it's very safety. Safety. <laughs> safety schedule. it can get very outrageous hostile territory man shit yeah, yeah, I'm <laughs> Already bumping. Y'all ready to get this thing going? Let's yeah, get her. Well, hey, That's only five you know what we're gonna do though? It's only five. You know what we're gonna do? Michael Davis, gonna do you a get a video. shout out. What's up, brother? these niggas that we need 12.5 by next week in the chat. We just did 10 yesterday. All we gotta do is send the video out. I need y'all to pull up to Gills Arena. We need 12.5. 12.5 uh, by the end of the week. The next week. Yeah, before the 31st. That's it. We gonna get 13 in the set, and we smoking. Zero. We smoking. Change yeah. the game. Put that respect on his name. Look, with the honor call for greatness, the chosen a few that carry the gift of genius. Who do what they do? Who possess finesse of blessed with desire? It's true. I'ma say it loud, none other than who? Some swear by Nike, others love Adidas. Rappers be rocking crowds, I'd rather rock arenas. You may have a nice shop, you super set with the pill. Who made the zero famous? It's Gil. Hold me fire, he wet, cold as the Pacific. Some dudes try to guard him, no need to be specific. He dazzled up the crowd as a wizard for years. Was 100% real, it's Gil. Welcome back to Gills Arena, presented by Underdog Fantasy. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> hey, we got some people over in this section over here that didn't woof woof when we did the woof woof. I'm just, I'm just saying. If y'all in Gills Arena, <laughs> they knew, they knew. We got a full studio audience in here today. We got a woof woof on the woof woof. But back here, as always, with the legend Gilbert Arena. What's up, man? We got Brandon Jennings on his prime time. Uh, on his prime time. Every uh, time I sit right here, it's prime time. <laughs> That's what I see, man. Where freedom at, bro? Where freedom at? Where is freedom? Where is freedom? Damn dark. We got Where's it? Where is it? I don't know. My daughter probably took it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, no. yeah, that's she cool. was asking about it. No, she was. I ain't no that's snitch, good. but. I got, <laughs> I was like, Wait a minute. She might have took that shit. I just thought about it. We got Rashad McCann's back with her. <sighs> I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> fake nigga in the building, fake nigga in the building. Oh. And we got Who's with the real nigga. Can you mark back with us? Yeah, yeah, real nigga in the building. The <laughs> once again. <laughs> Y'all gonna stop this shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm not gonna be a part and of this. Yes, you are. I'm not gonna be a part yes, of these shit. Not, 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 not gonna be in Play the middle of this. Stupid it games shit. win nah. stupid prizes, man. Let's oh, go. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Oh, me and Gil just caught in the middle, just trying to do, do everybody's she favorite basketball Gil. show. Hey, walk them. Shit. Just trying to do everybody's favorite basketball show, give the people what they want and what they crave. But here's what we got cracking today. Uh, Adrian Wilson had a historic night, tying the WNBA record by dropping 53 of them things. So, you know, we got to salute her for all that. Uh, MJ allegedly weighs in on the greatest point guard ever debate. There, were, there was rumors of a text. Have any of you niggas ever got a text from MJ? Yeah. You got a text got, from MJ before? I got a call from MJ. But not a text, that's what I'm saying. Not no fucking text. MJ not texting, unless he Mrs. was just- Michael uh, Jeffrey Jordan. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> MJ texting now. He still got a uh, flip phone. <laughs> and it's Kobe's birthday, so we got to get a mom his flowers. But before we get into all that, as always, this show is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. 
Please help us help you. Download the app. Use promo code Gills Arena. They'll match your first deposit up to $100. If you would have did a pick em and took the higher on Asia Wilson last night, you would have got some bread. Like me. But that's just what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, and as always, we do mostly fans before, during, after the show. So go ahead, drop a good question. Use your underdog fantasy username. And if we featured that question on the show, you get a $50 bonus courtesy of Gills Arena delivered to your account. As always, if you don't get that bonus, don't bother us. Go holler, holler at the white people up top. They control the bread. We still trying to get some of it. Yeah, too. man, we need some good questions too, man. Hey, man, I got like we got like we got like a week six, left. I got like six grand. Already? Yeah, 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 I got like six grand. You what? finally caught up? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. We got Working. their bread back. We gonna see. We gonna see once ABA season start. Yeah. Huh? We gonna see, see his pickums the then. The NBA season start. He was losing when the NBA was. Yeah. Playing. Who? I'm gonna get in. You. Then. I was just I was trying to figure out the system. Use that promo code Gills Arena to get that hundred dollar deposit. You can't just win on the girls and just doing unders. Yeah, 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 yeah. Girls is good for the me. <laughs> he under. The women's he is under. good. He be killing the ass. So <laughs> y'all play fantasy football, y'all? Y'all fantasy football, any y'all? I tried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you got a league already? You nah, I've been trying to get a league. Underdog, I've been trying to get a league so the people can join. Let's do something. Get that, that, let's do something. I got that best ball. I don't even touch that part of the app. We got a lot of that shit. Let's football. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I'm with you. I told them get I mean, us a fantasy before the season starts. Before the season starts, let's yeah. get something fantasy going. Fantasy what? Fantasy Basketball. football. Yeah, fantasy oh. football. No, I just like the jerk. I just like the jerk. I'm with you, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> you can put it on auto. Yeah, okay. Pick and play. Just, just pick. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, put cool. yours on auto. All right. Pick and play. <laughs> and watch pick them to so listen. I mean, I can yeah. listen. And the computer pick good team. Trust yeah. me. You're I mean, fucking around on win just because of that. Listen, because it's on auto. They pick the best available. You know what I'm saying? They picked the best available. I did try to pick. Michael Vick in uh, 2017. They had him available? No, 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 no. I was just so into 2005 that I thought Vick was still playing. I was like, yeah, give me Vick. <laughs> he can't go wrong with that. <laughs> hey, give me Vick. <laughs> He's popping. He's popping. <laughs> As always, if you can't watch the show live with us, we got a podcast version available. Apple, Spotify, wherever else people get their podcasts. At. I see a lot of people in the chat saying they'll watch some of the chapters today and then they'll come back the next day and listen to the whole show. Pod, whatever, you're on your way to work, you got a miserable day ahead of you, go tune in some Gills Arena. <laughs> <laughs> then go work for the man. And get entertained. Your, go work for the man. <laughs> and get your bag. But we had a historic moment in the W last night, so we're going to bring back hibachi time. Hibachi time. Boop. Look at us. Hmm. Graphics right. and shit. Big time. So Adrian Wilson was in Beast Mode Tuesday night delivering one of the greatest bucket-getting performances in Hoops history. She tied the WNBA record with 53 points in 33 minutes in the Aces' win over the Dream. Her new career high comes just 11 days after setting her previous high of 40. She also had four blocks in the game as leading the league with two per game in that category as well. So it's safe to say that Asia Wilson is her. Is the smoke machine? Is it operational, Gil? Asia Wilson, you get some smoke. All the smoke. Yeah, a lot of smoke, man. Yeah. You get a lot of smoke. Yeah, we know you have you on the WNBA pick -em, so how impressive is Adrian Wilson's 53-point performance? Very, very. I mean, especially with the style they play, slow basketball. I mean, you know, Vegas is, is, is a lot faster than everybody else. Um, you can see why they're so dominant. But, you know, this was a, um, the style that I thought the WNBA should have picked up a long time ago. You know, up and down, moving, so there could be records broken. Like, mm -hmm. you know, when, when we see... 40, 45, 50, that's what tune in, you know, the male audience, right? So the faster the game will be, you know, if they speed that game up and have numbers like this, it's, yeah. we in. Mm -hmm. yeah. the, the Aces put up 112 points in 40 minutes. You know, their game has always been more fundamentally sound yeah. than mm -hmm. the man's game. Mm -hmm. So I think, to up to your point, to play faster than it takes away from some of that, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But they are... Becoming more athletic, you know what I'm saying? They're more athletic now, fast, they jump higher, they're doing all the things that, you know what I'm saying, that the previous generation probably was limited at, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, to play faster, yeah, I agree, yeah. That's I think she's just more dominant, though. Like, just watching her play and rebound and all the shit she be doing out there, it's different. She just look different. She look like how Cheryl Miller would have looked at 
when she was yeah. out there. You know what if, she ever played, yeah, if she ever got to play in the WNBA. Was that word you used just sure. now? Played it. Looked no, it. Played it. No. Looked it. Looked it. Looked it. <laughs> looked it. Yeah, looked it. Looked it. You know, these chat looked motherfuckers good. need to understand. They don't understand articulation, so I got to... But that whole, that whole Aces squad is crazy. <laughs> Beckingham is a coach. you kind of, you know, a pop disciple, but they're out there dancing, having a good time, busting people's asses. Brandon, what do you think about the 53 piece? Uh, I really didn't see. I just saw some highlights, but that's pretty dope, though. Pretty dope. <laughs> you know what the best Because we're a bucket getter, you know what I'm saying? You should appreciate that a little more than that, dog. That's dope. That's, <laughs> that's, I mean, no, like, that's hard it's, to it's, do. It, no, it is impressive, for sure. Man, the, best part, the most impressive part of it all. 33. No, no, she yeah. had zero. Yes, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, this is impressive. <laughs> like, y'all ain't getting the ball tonight. <laughs> but that's every yeah. night. She barely... No, I'm just saying, assist, like, you know, 53 0 assist. That's my type of... That's my type of bucket getter. Right. Right. Jamelo had that new head out of him in the garden <laughs> against Charlotte. Yeah, 60. Nah, eight. Yeah, 60 no assist. Yeah, yeah 60 no assist. Yeah. Yeah, what she, am I passing for? Yeah. <laughs> she wanted them one. She wanted them one. Y'all know who's hot? Mm. I, like, I like her game a lot. Like, she just... She lock in. And like you say, they be out there playing fun. Like, she... When they was on the bench joking, that's when I knew I was like, oh, she one of them. She, 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 she. No, they got a dominant, they got a dominant. That's team. efficient night. I, yeah. Like she was like, that's efficient. 20 was it 20 for 21 from for free, free throw? throw? Yeah, I think second I think, second highest in WNBA history throws. behind Cynthia Cooper. But 20 for 21 is 20 for 21 is crazy. Locked in. Locked in. One three pointer in that 53. I never shot, uh, what's the most free throw you shot in the game? 27, I think. God damn. You said she had one three pointer? Just one one yeah. one three pointer in that fifty two. That's like when uh, Andre Miller had that fifty two. Yeah. Portland. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, in Portland, right? Mm -hmm. No threes. No threes. That was oh, pump fakes. Pump yeah. fakes. Pump fakes. Yeah. Free throw. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. Dre was nice, dog. Yeah, that's my nigga, man. I saw Dre and Roy uh, Vegas. He Hey, Kenny Martin. <laughs> to the whole name. <laughs> 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 me and KJ was together. He called it Kenny Martin Jr., Kenny Martin Sr. Y'all, that shit was so funny. <laughs> yeah, Melo also had a 50-point game with no paint points, if, if that entry. All y'all. mids. Ooh. Mostly jumpers. Hey, that's, that's tough. No no assist. Was that the no assist game? No, nah, that was in the garden. <laughs> yeah, 60. It was 60 no assist. Don't no, pass it, pass it to the rim. <laughs> but Asia was rocking LeBron 20s in the game, and afterwards she got some love from the king. He said, whoop, there it is. He said, must be the shoes. Nah, it's definitely her game the whole way. They do look good on her, though. Go to hell off this, sis. And a bunch of hand clapping emojis. If there's one criticism I have of LeBron's tweeting, it's over emojiing. LeBron's sufficient emojis, four or less. Well, That's I'm, the only night. That colorway, that colorway is tough. Yeah, that's the ball shoe, but Wilson, two time MVP, reigning champion, and defensive player of the year. She got her own shoe? That's what I'm going to ask you. It should be the face of the W. There have only been 12 WNBA players that have their own signature shoe. As of right now, she is not one of them. Sure. Does Asia deserve her own signature shoe? Yeah, I think so. Two time MVP. She, the way she playing this year, possibly win yeah. it again. If Brianna, got, if Brianna Stewart got hers, Asia should definitely have hers. No, for sure. Did Candace ever have one? Oh. Yeah, she yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Candace a beast. She's gotta be influential. Leaders. You gotta be influential. Yeah, she yeah, would be. Yeah, 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 she would be. She's influential. Yeah, I don't you know. Yeah, she, she almost knows. got me buying ruffles again. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I mean, you know, just like an NBA, you know, it's she's a big, right? I mean, yeah. you know, and you know, when you're talking about girls, they're, they're usually guards. So mm -hmm. uh, when you're talking about moving shoes and moving units, you you it's it's guard play. Right, and it's, it's always been like that, you know. When you're when you're 10, 11, 12, 13, you can't identify with someone who's six, 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 seven. True. You know, you can identify with someone who's smaller, so you're gonna gravitate to that person anyway until you get that size. So. But I just think her being a female, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And and women, girls, basketball. I'm saying I just think it's but the, dope. You know what I'm saying? Black girl. I'm saying, just, yeah. Just the problem, yeah, the, yeah. but the problem, the problem with WNBA is they have there's a big disconnect from the WNBA to youth basketball. So right. youth basketball actually don't watch the WNBA. Yeah. I see. Right? Mm -hmm. They don't know the WNBA. When a draft happens, yeah. and you go and ask any of those girls from 18 to 12, they won't know half the people that got drafted. Nothing. They won't even know. Four people that got drafted because they don't they don't watch. Yeah, you in the know. You know, I, I'm saying. You know, I think they should just lift the age limit, let girls be one and done, or come straight out of high school. And that market right there, like, thank you, Lululemon, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, lipstick, 
you know, eyelash, weed, uh, all of it, Victoria's Secret, the whole gun. Like you have all that to your disposal. The whole gun. But y'all, they want Nike and they want this bullshit yeah, that men gun, do. Man. Like no, like you gravitate to what you actually wear every single day. That's you know, the, blush and all this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Y'all can that's make that. millions and that's millions that. of dollars off that, and y'all can push that to the youth because that's what the youth is wearing. Absolutely. You know, if one of those girls got a lipstick deal or yeah. lip gloss deal, who you think is buying that product? Yeah. Oh, that's facts. I gotta buy that for my daughter. Right now, she's buying a Kylie Jenner shit. Yeah, that's So y'all saying that. Kylie Jenner, <laughs> you know? Yeah, so when is hoop wear? Yeah. I never seen Kylie Jenner get a bucket. No, you know what I mean? Not. So you know what I mean? It's just this big, it's just a I'm big, it's just a really big disconnect. I'm with you. Yeah. I feel you. What they yeah. say? They say. Go straight out of high school for girls would be tough. Because some of them No, girls, because you can't tell them, me Some of them young girls is nice, man. I'm saying your daughter, your daughter nice. Your daughter mm-hmm. can play. That girl she play with. Juju. Listen, man. <laughs> and this is this is Don Stanley came to the game, right? Don, yeah. Hall of Fame, yeah. South Carolina. She said, "Juju is the best WNBA. She's the best female hooper she's ever seen." Dog, have you seen this girl? Ever play? seen? Like yeah. you're talking about? Yeah, she's I saw best. you at the. I, she's, I, mean, I saw you at the game. Mm-hmm. Oh, Boo, Boo, SC. Mm-hmm. Terrible she's, choice. She said she's the she best. She was killing that McDonald's game. Yeah. She said she's the best female she's ever seen. No. There's not even close to, just period. She should have Let me tell you when I, straight out of high school. I was <laughs> watching her. KJ was at Sierra Canyon working out just before the season. She mm-hmm. was in the gym working out. This one was no game. Mm-hmm. I'm watching her work out. I'm, KJ was working out. I'm like this now. I'm <laughs> just watching her move and putting it, do, do, and one dribble up, do, do. I'm like, so I go up to her, like, who was training her, working out. I'm like, yo, that's, he like, yo, that's my daughter. I said, you do this? Mm-hmm. He said, yeah. I said, oh, man, listen, man, hey, yeah, I'll be here to see you play this year. Yep. And you got to waste four years go. at USC. That's, that's terrible, though. Yeah. That's your, that, like, that right that's there terrible. goes into the WNBA. That's terrible. Her following, that's terrible. all seniors, juniors, sophomores, freshmen, yeah. eighth grade, seventh grade, buys all her product. Yeah. Right? Yes. Buys all her product because that's her fan base. By the time she becomes a senior, oh, all her fan base became her enemy because they're competition now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? So she loses her name, you know, by the time she gets to her senior year. So when she comes to the WNBA, she has no value to sales. If she leaves right now, oh, she's, she's impeccable. Absolutely. Well, that's why it's important for Asia to get the recognition she gets now. Nobody so knows. That, so that Juju, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they give Asia... The, the 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 platform now for her to be the signature shoe wearer, bringing down to the Angel Reese, who's next, then Juju, like it becomes a marketing uh, opportunity for them to sell to mascara to Lululemon. Like they not mm-hmm. just gonna come on board because we saying it. They have to be examples of it. So letting Asia be an example, then right. Angel Reese become an example, then Juju's gonna be like the LeBron James of it all. But that's but that's where up. they go. You have to go with probably Paige Buckner, Paige. You got Caitlyn, Reese, and Juju, because the youth know them right now. They don't know WNBA. But think about it. By the time the WNBA, when they get drafted, who do they look like? Women. They look like women, right? Wearing yeah, business true. suits, looking all. For us, yeah, that's a very good look. For girls, but now that's but the what reason why for girls they, they look like grandmas. The reason why they don't know WNBA right, in, in WNBA right now is because they're not being put in the in the in the forefront. Like if you put Asia right now after this game, and after the All Star game, everything that has been happening with WNBA, they are now more visible than they've ever been. So now you put her in the position where she's like. Lisa Leslie was like mm-hmm. Candace was, where it's like we could show her more. It's gonna set them up to be in the middle of it. Like it's gonna be even bigger. You gotta start somewhere. You don't want to start when they come, and then it's just gonna be like oh, we had four or five years. We could have been maximizing on this, and then you know it's been said I don't like black women and all this, but I'm fucking with Asia though. Man, but that's what I'm saying. She's she's in the. <laughs> what, what, what I'm saying is she's in the. I'm in the real quick. No, no, no. But yeah. think, no, but what I'm saying is she looks like. But she's in the. She, she's an adult. Like what I'm saying is when I say they don't identify. Think about what a 22 year old, a grown woman looks like compared to a teen. Yeah. It's two different looks. So these teens don't identify. You, you're too old for us. You you you're old, right? I'm I'm wearing booty short. The, the look at go to girls basketball. Shorts is high. Right? They're showing as much skin as possible. WNBA, that, that long shorts, they got, they got the socks. They look like 
us in 2000, <laughs> early 2000s. So the girls don't watch that game. That's like saying LeBron James don't identify with the youth. You saying he because to, he old? But he comes to he comes to the games. That's what I'm saying. So Asia should still identify because she's the grown adult version of what they're gonna become. But they don't come. They don't come to the games because she's not being promoted. That's what I'm Herself? saying. Herself. Her Tarazi is Tarazi is big because she has an AAU team. That's what I'm saying. So if Asia is being promoted as the top gun, MVP, defensive put, she's being promoted as the woman of the league. She becomes the iconic figure. She becomes the role model. To who? To the youth. They don't watch the WNBA. But they will if they, they you know are promoting her. You know who the most popular WNBA player was? Uh, what was the girl for the Lakers who did all the dancing and stuff all the time? Yeah, now y'all know because she didn't really play. Well, you ain't even telling us. <clears throat> no, no, so she didn't play. Skylar Diggins was at one point. Who? Skylar oh, Fisher. Because her, because her looks. But um, her brother, her brother. Um, no, because she was hooping at. Sharif, Sharif no, Cooper. No, because she was hooping at Notre Dame. So Tia Cooper, Tia Cooper had more. She has more followers than all the MVPs combined in the last four years. Because her brother. Right. Everybody, all the girls thought the brother was cute, so they just followed her because she was dancing their video. I don't even know so she became the. the I know. Who's Sharif Cooper? Taya. Taya, 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 Taya Cooper. Taya Cooper. I got packed up for somebody, an old black man pronouncing her name wrong, Gil. So. Oh, Taya Cooper. Yeah, yeah. Like, like she was the most. <laughs> she was the most watched WNBA player, and she didn't really play, but she was more popular than everybody else because of. The, all those girls liked the brother, brother so they just followed school. the sister. Brother was good in high school. Yeah. And he, yeah, yeah. yeah, all them teen girls like, oh, that's the sister. Oh, she dressed. Oh, I like the way she dressed. She dressed like a, a kid. Nobody's they ain't fucking with them adults up there, man. Let's talk about. Oh, he know. He's in the I, I mean, know. Listen, I, you you are directly. No, I'm, I'm directly. You are directly connected. involved. So listen, I, 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 that's why I ain't got shit. No, no, no. Listen, wait, 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 that's why I'm over just no, listen. Wait, he know. Okay, out. so he know. Shit, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How many W? How many? Uh, my sister, it's a WNBA player. No, I mean, I, I, I used to play it in the WNBA. No, I'm talking about youth Where's girls. sister or no? Yeah, oh, yeah, my sister. No, I'm talking about youth girls. That's why you gotta. You gotta right now, no, I'm talking about youth girls. I'm just like when Asia. Remember, Asia's two-time MVP. Two-time MVP. Hey, what's up? Y'all watch Asia last night? Who the hell is that? Mm. Yeah, but she's not being promoted. This is what I'm saying, bro. That's all I'm saying. Not if she's saying. promoted more, they know more. If you got a, if you got somebody sitting in the back under in the dark, you can't see her. You don't know her. You ain't watching. But you got somebody in the front dancing and shit. It's like, oh, yeah. look at her. She promote herself. Yeah, she don't even play. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. But Asia be out there dancing to getting it. But and down. Yeah. Let's talk about just 50 pieces <laughs> because we have two people on this couch that have dropped a 50 piece in the league. Brandon, you had that 55, your rookie year. We talked a little bit to Steph about that because he, he received some of those buckets. Yeah, you had the 60 and 54 within a week span of each other. Mm -hmm. He was on top of the world at that point. Motherfucker. So... Just for y'all, what does it feel like to be locked in offensively like that? Like, what's going through your mind as you were just cooking at that level? Basket's big. Um, at that point, there's no defense that, that can contain you, right? No matter how great the defense is at that point in time when you are locked in, you know, as long as you can see the rim, all your moves is on point, right? Um, Everything, the whistle's going, the, the lucky bounce, right? Every, everything is, is falling. It's like hitting all green lights and shit, you know? <laughs> why, why are you almost late to work? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? So it, it's, it's one of those feelings where no, it's like no matter, as long as you can get a shot up, it's, it's, it's I feel it. Mm. It's like workout. It's like you're working out, you're playing by yourself. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, you're just going to the gym and you're just trying st different things. Um, my 55, I was I was off in the first quarter, so I didn't know if I was going to even play mm -hmm. in the second half. I think I was like 0 for 5 in the first, and then I just caught fire in that third, and like I just couldn't miss. It didn't matter. Like you said, it didn't matter what happened. It didn't matter what type of defense or anything. I was just on fire. What's your career high, King, if you don't mind me asking? Hey. 35, 36. You say that, that's, like, that's not a lot. Oh, no, like 17 in the first. No, 17 in the first. Yeah, what's the like most 17 average? in the first. Yeah. Like, 
No, it's just mm-hmm. when you, you know, I ain't. Ever. And do, do y'all feel a shift when y'all are cooking like that? Do you feel like your teammates start hating a little bit? Like, no, they want to no, get there too? No, or they, no. they like, we're going to let you cook. Like, and I ain't shooting no threes. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is 35 with no threes. Yeah, all dunks. This is dunks and jump shots. No, this is yeah. like, like, I was. Jump hooks. <laughs> and this is in the finals. This is game four of the finals against the Lakers. Like, we played the, with the one, it was 35 or 36 against the Knicks. And then game four, we got swept against the Lakers in the finals. Yeah, I was I was going at at your boy's dome, big shot. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I was, boy, I was <laughs> going at his rack in the first quarter. Hey, see, but yeah, no. Nah, then I had a game in college where it was on like that. We played DePaul. Like everything was going in. Everything. Like everything. Like whatever I did, that bitch was I'm like, yo, this shit is up. Yeah. Yeah. Rashad, I saw, I saw you but shake yeah, the he head with, score, with though. the teammate hate. I, I, was, I, was, I was never the best player on my team. I was I was trash, you know what I'm saying? So uh, never got an opportunity. You know, I had 34, 30. Actually, I had 34 against Kenya now. <laughs> but, uh, Guess who? Denver. <laughs> I couldn't uh, have been on. I couldn't have yeah, been you, on. Yeah, you got most of it. Whatever, nigga. <laughs> you, you got, got most, most, you got of, most it. of it. Show me. They had to. They had to go to zone and shit. Please show me. But uh, <laughs> that's why, there's tape. He said they had to go to zone. Hey, oh, there's, there's, oh, there's tape. Thirty-four. Yes, there's tape. Hey, Trev. Trev, hey, Trev, 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 Trev. Don't you got the tape? Did you please, got the tape? Please, please that bring 34? it up. Yeah, there is some film. There. Yeah, there is some. Please film show me. He said film. Show me. Film available. Show, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I ain't, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a team guy. I'm a team guy. I like to play. Please, the is, offense. There's, there's, Yo, did you start or did you come off the bench? Off the bench. It was 34 off the bench. Oh, off the bench. Yeah. Off the bench. Okay, but he said yeah. that I got that word. That's no, what I'm saying. Said most of it. No, you said most. So I, I want to. Yeah. I want to. Yeah. So <laughs> not all of it. Not all of it. Therefore, said, therefore I want to see it. Most of it. If there's film, <laughs> had to go I want to see it because I don't. Like, listen, yeah, who's on guard this nigga? Because man. if anybody gave me where I'm first one to tell y'all, nigga did well, but I. I no, nobody, I no nobody. recollection of that. <laughs> nobody. Like, you probably yeah, he was, wouldn't remember it. That's just like the game fucking Kevin Love scored 40. We were playing him. He's catching and shooting the ball before anybody get to him. Yeah, that's my match. He ain't give me that. Ain't no way nobody uh, just yeah, no. I, I, I listen. So I'm not gonna say he was like on. Like, like, yeah, party. come on now. He, I he got. It, I get the now. Wizards 41. Come on. Like, Jordan probably checked me four five. The all 41 was on Jordan. That's all yeah. on MJ. Yeah. Yeah. When I tell my story, it was all yeah. on Jordan. He's the best. Of course, if that make you there, feel better, we saw it. It does. Jordan. Okay, if that make yeah. you feel better, say that you scored most of your 34 on me to help you sleep at night. Hell yeah. Hell cool. Yeah. Oh, no. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Because when, when I seen that bitch going in, that was like, that was King right there. Yeah, that was King right there. That was King right? again right there. Oh, shit. <laughs> the best defensive player was. Him and Marcus yeah, okay. Camby both. You gave Jordan 41? I gave Jordan 41. He said, I just got a text from MJ. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he said, I had no problem with Gilbert Arena. No problem. <laughs> he said, I had no problem. <laughs> Mr. Michael. Jeff Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> damn, I'm all fucked up now. Uh, <laughs> Game, right? see, so after that 60 point game, I want to say you had 23. After the 54, I want to say you had like 31. But how hard was the, the, the 60 was a back to back? I want to say Denver the next night. But how hard is it just after Wait, scoring that 50? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Y'all don't even know if y'all want to go down this rabbit hole, all right? What year was Motherfucker that? got arrested for this type of shit. What, <laughs> what year was that? Huh? <laughs> it was 2006. Yeah. Except it was, oh, then you scored. Oh, that was, yeah, I just got that too. Nah. That was nah, the Shady game? Nah, this is the Shady that game. That was the Donahue game. Don't talk what to happened? me about the Shady game. What game? What was, Don- listen, game. someone asked me, I said, yeah, has Donahue, have you ever been cheating in the NBA? And I said this. I said, there's only one game I've ever remembered that that shit seemed foul. And I said, man, I just had 60. We went to Denver. Whole team got traded, right? It was getting traded for Allen Iverson. So they had nobody playing, right? Earl Borgens had like 60 something. I shot 30 shots. No free throws. They kept me off the... I had 27 free throws against Kobe. They kept me off the free throw line the next game. Guess who was ref? I even said it. Man, why you we locked cheat? that shit said, up? Fuck that. I said, that shit. why y'all cheat? I said, why y'all cheating for this sorry ass team? And that's what I said. Why y'all cheating for this sorry ass team? Right? Donnie, he was a the referee there. 43 minutes, zero free throws. Mm. 30 shots. And I was pl- th- th- I shot 30 shots. And look at my min- my plus minus. Still plus one. Pl- how the fuck? And how much we lose? That's by? crazy. Uh nine. How the fuck does that happen? 
Did I play? No, that's crazy. No, that's crazy. Let me pull up the box <laughs> score. <laughs> yeah, y'all know. the whole time. Oh, no, I'm asking. I'm trying to figure. Was I was I hurt? Or did I play? It was like nah, Rob. Nah, yeah, you didn't play. No, didn't play. no, nope, you didn't. Nope. Read the Diawara, lineup. That was Diawara, <laughs> you did Diawara, Andre Miller, Marcus Cambia, Linus Kleiser, and uh, Kleiser. Nah, Nahara. That was the starters. Yep. Yeah. Locked that ass up, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> Locked 30, that 30 ass shot. up. So you can see I was on demon time. 30 shots and 60. Nobody getting the ball. You was trying to get 70. <laughs> they're, not calling, they're not calling nothing. 43 minutes, you for sure got fouled. Yeah. 100%. Come on. Like, him. Take like, the 30 him, shots. Yeah, him yeah. out of everybody. For sure. Like, come on. Him out of everybody. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. He's going to force his way to get fouled. I guess the spread was like us minus 12. Mm. Something like that. <laughs> No free throws for you? Oh, I ain't oh wow. Oh, yeah. So, it, wow. Yeah. Everybody put their money on us. Wow. Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it makes all the sense in the world. So that don't count. So we're going to scratch that game out. We're going to go straight to that 54. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 54 after the... After the very next game, game against... Um, you uh, shot 30 shots. You was on your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I had that, and then, I, and then you we... Know, you shot the ball yeah, enough to have... 30 on sack, and then you had, you had the 54... Yeah, you shot the ball enough to have you gave whatever you was aiming Memphis for. Memphis 31, but that was four days later, the day after Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Shit. And we didn't have nobody. Else. Damn, did nobody play? Nobody. No, that's what I said. It was nobody. That was dirty. He said right before the trade. Damn. Donnie hit that motherfucker like. I'm figuring. Why the fuck? Earl Boy gets two free throws. Why the fuck? Earl! Earl. <laughs> how he get off? How many free throws Earl shot? Look at this shit. Please look Hold at on. this. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Let me go. My look, look at that shit. Let me pull. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Look Hold on. Look, look at this. Somebody come Earl. look at this shit. Five one. The wi- uh uh Adam Silver fucking with the Wi-Fi. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, fi- yeah oh yeah. shit. <laughs> uh uh. No seriously, come on. Three free throws for Boykin. Earl Boykin. Fifteen free throws. You got there for you. Okay, you knocked wow, me off the Wi-Fi. Wow. Adam Silver. I'm Mark Carr. Run through the when neighborhood. What had that game? Like thirty. Wow. Like twenty-seven. I think something like that. No, yeah. You putting him on the free throw? Come on, man. Twenty-nine. I even said it. I mean, I'm going to, I ain't shooting no more jumps. So I'm going all the way to the basket. Yeah, we ain't see nothing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this how we play. That's funny. So we talked about the bucket so getting he did inside. it twice to us. Hmm? To Chuck, too. He did it to Chuck when we was playing. Oh, he did it to Chuck? Every time Chuck got ready to put the ball in before he called travel. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he talked about that. Yeah, every time he got ready to put the ball in, he called travel. They talked about Jesus. Chuck. Yeah, you know, that was, I, I remember reading, I remember seeing something yeah. on that and... I have a pro- I have a problem with when they're putting a rule in to have pre notion of what you're gonna call. They're enforcing it, right? You're in okay enforcing something, but pre calling it. Yeah. Like you see, oh, he got he shook. Oh, that must have been the trap. A trap. Yeah, yeah. Like that's that's technically cheating. Yeah. That is technically cheating. You are pre calling carries and travels on people every, because every time he you watch this, film, every time he got ready to do it, they, trap, they, carry, and when he. I'm oh, like, yo, man. Oh. This, this, but he mumble wicked. Yes. <laughs> like everybody think, everybody think like, yo, Allen Iverson's crossover was this iconic thing, which it was. But people don't realize after his first what, season, two seasons, they took that away from him. Yes, he yeah, couldn't yeah. do that shit no more. Yeah. 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 As soon as he got yeah. ready to load up, brrr, he had to change it. Yeah. He had to change it. That's why he did the commercials. The double cross. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah that's what yeah, he had to come in with yeah. legs, between legs, a little spider cross. Because mm-hmm. they shit, took his crossover away from him. That shit he hit uh, Antonio Daniels with. <laughs> Man, that nigga Ooh, touch earth. Back. Wah, wah. Man, I didn't have to do the Humpty. Nigga. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, damn. Yeah, Antonio Daniels out there doing the Humpty. <laughs> so we talked about the buggy game, but let's talk about the other side. What's the worst that somebody's cooked you in your career? Like me personally? Mm-hmm. Man, y'all gonna laugh. Like, I got hit with Damon Jones. Damon Jones cooked me. You know what? Uh, Eric Snow. I mean, I guess I guess Steve Nash. You know, when I had the, the 54, he had like 45. Had that don't 45. count. No, that don't, that don't count. Talking about like, he might have a game winner on you or anything like that. Like, no, cook, cook. Oh, cook. Like, if, you, if you go for 54, like, he like has 45. How, listen, when we was playing... Charlotte with Melo when Gerald Henderson was talking and Melo out to just destroying like cook like that. Oh, like that, somebody but just you guard somebody how you was on that day and somebody did you like that. Has somebody like the cooked you like on. that? Coach ain't taking you out. Like you asking to come out? No, keep your like, ass in, you know, nigga. You had the fifty four, but the forty five is irrelevant because anything over that yeah. forty five that if you have, they don't matter. Nah, I was in the era where the guards, guard. the guards, the guards wasn't really like that yet. 
Yeah, if he was guarding. Not this era. I, I, I dodged them steps in them uh, D Roses. <laughs> yeah, who? <laughs> D Rose to me. Yeah. He went at I mean, you. He's like still that. thinking about that damn that damn crossover he done. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he talking about you said somebody that cooked me, D Rose. What'd he have? He cooked me and he hit the game winner. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Mm. Say T Mac. I say that's T Mac, yeah. It was noble. Tough, tough guard. Too much. Too small. Way too small. And you little. But I was strong. Yeah. You know what I'm it saying? It didn't matter. It didn't. It didn't matter. Right over you. He yeah, right over you. Yeah. Cooked me. Yeah. Two yeah. nights in a row. We had a home and home. <laughs> shit, he scored 74 in two days. Shit. That's when you know you yeah. got a bad coach and you're like, right. coach, what the fuck am I supposed I to be me. doing on this and, nigga you know, right I'm now? I'm playing the three at the time. You know, I'm guarding the three matchup <laughs> that night while I was guarding him that night. So it's. He scored, the, he scored the career high on us. Yeah, he hanged dribbling my He heads yeah, in his man, shit out my head. He got me on that motherfucking elbow. Nah, nah, nah. He turned on that nah. elbow. <laughs> like, yo. Pick like, and roll. Like, bloop, bloop, bloop. Yeah, he had what? Yeah, he don't see you. He had 62 on, uh, he had 62 on us. Yeah, he don't right? see you. And he had an off night. Yeah. Mm. That wasn't even actually, like, on fire. He, I think he missed, like, 10, 12 free throws. Right? Uh, it was just. Matt was crazy, bro. Mac, like he re he really yeah. missed like twelve free throws that game. He could shoot that bitch though. Like he could really shoot. Uh, that I'm, we, everybody so everybody was checking in on him. Brendan Haywood, you get him. <laughs> <laughs> you was throwing everybody. Anybody who had a jersey on. Wait, hold on. So nobody cooked you? <laughs> Damn. Like what do you mean cooked? Like I didn't score two. But oh, he like, no, score, like, no. like like John Stockton no, get at you. Like Gary Payton yo, get at you. Oh my rookie seat. Maybe my rookie but, season. Yo, I don't know. But but be like he. Let's let's be honest. When he was agent zero, he was going to fucking let you go by him before he... he all right, so that's good to cook. He then. wasn't going to play. All right, no, 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 There was no resistance. But the, what you're not missing, okay, if I, I, I average 30, what, 29 and 28, right? So the fact that you, that if that's my average, you're going to have to score, what, 40 to what, my 10? 12? Well, I'm saying for 82, so no, no, so for 82 games, for 82 games, you saying not one point guard got at you. It'd be, that's what I said, it'd be John Stockton. I mean, not John Stockton, but it'd be, um, it'd be Nash, who he probably scored the highest on me, 40 something, but I had 54. What about when Kobe came back to DC? He had 37, had 39. Remember, I didn't guard the two. So I would say the Steve Nash situation because he had to guard him on the other end. So that yeah, would be the a, equivalent. Like the, 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 the Tony Parker. But they're going back and forth. But they're going back and forth. So for 82 yeah, games, that one point guard walked in there and was right. just like, yo, like, so for 82 right. games, nobody. Because the, I, the, you, you guys came in later. Think about with my, I'm, I'm, I'm with Steve Nash, who was probably the best score. Other than that, it's Tony Parker, with average 19. Marbury was in the league. Right? Marbury. Um, what about Darren Jake Williams? Uh, Darren Williams, Young, CP, CP Young. Yeah. They getting their ass busted. <laughs> 30, 40. They, they getting Jameer. Darren Williams, fifty one. He couldn't Jameer even. Nelson. He couldn't even yeah. stay. He couldn't yeah. even stay on the court. Jameer Nelson, uh, White Chocolate, Old Gary Payton, T.J. Ford. T yeah, that's. I didn't have you. You guys didn't come. You, you guys didn't come in. Yeah. Okay. So you okay. saying there wasn't okay. any real scoring point guard? There wasn't no scoring game. point guards. Like like if I had to guard Mulberry, I'm coming at his head first. So I didn't. I didn't actually get. Yeah. I didn't. Even, I didn't get those guards okay. yet. Yeah, like, the, the, like, yeah, that's yeah. like you know, like, like somebody, like that's what I said. Somebody who cooked me. You're talking about Mo Williams. Like if he averaged like 15, he scored yeah. 25. Yeah. Right. Uh, Damon Jones averaged eight. That nigga got 24. Yeah. Eric Snow got 25. Right. I'm, that's getting cooked. If you nah, up, but it's not. If, it's getting cooked. If you, if, 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 if if you, you gave you, up though. 25 to East, I gave you 25 to eat Eric Snow. He I cooked. got cooked. He cooked you. <laughs> like I ain't paying attention cooked. to you. Like, I'm getting that in. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if I'm playing against a scoring guard, is who gonna score the most? Yeah, and that's how I felt about Pat Beverly when he was talking about BJ. Know what's up? Yeah, he, I remember. Yeah, he had like 19. I had low, so it's like that. Yeah, like ah, oh, fuck, yeah. damn, he got me. But that was a, at that point. That, at that, that point, it, 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 it was is that hard. like a BJ knows what's up type of moment. If I have 19, I guess because I looked at the stats. If you looked at it, we played three times, so it was all nasty. I'm just trying to figure out what do I know what's up. Yeah, he said, I, I want to know, know, know what's uh, up, though. You know what he said, you know what's Tariq, up. Uh, try Tariq Evans. The first time I played Tariq Evans. We got, we got our... I, was, I came off, I was coming off the injury. We played him. It was, in, it was in sack. To me, cooked is when a nigga, you guarding a nigga, 
and he's taking it personal one on one. Yeah, that, like, see, they didn't. It's they didn't, the one on one. Guard, they, that's what's at the guard. Yo, the chat saying Irishman dropped 47 on you. Do you have any? I was a shooting guard. I remember that. <laughs> Man. I was shooting guard. I never guarded Iverson. Iverson never guarded me. But that, yeah, who was the point I guard? That. That's the game that he dropped that's uh, Eric uh, Daniels. Yeah, see, that's what I said. Daniels, Daniels, all of them was guarding him. I was, you had 34. Yeah, I was shooting guard. I was, I was sticking the point guard. Is Eric Snoop? <laughs> Eric Snoop. How much Eric Snoop had that game? <laughs> I was a great defensive player. They said Eric Snow gave you 60. No, I'm just fucking. I was going to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. say, where is that at? I'm just fucking. That's retirement. No, but like that, that like when, when like, um, when Tyreek Evans was coming in, like that big guard that actually scored, I was like, ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting done. Tyreek had 26 in his first game. Against me? Against the Wizards. We're trying to see. Yes. Yeah. But, but let's keep this thing moving. Oh, no. Uh, we got to talk about just Gills Arena. We've been out here really just controlling the news cycle all week after our interview with Steph Curry dropped on Monday. Steph said he thought he was the greatest point guard to ever put himself over Magic. Been feeding the community. The mm. Smoke Machine just queefed. Shout out mm -hmm. to Steph. See, Smoke Machine no. Shout out to <laughs> Steph. Smoke Machine no. pre fart. Black <laughs> pre, they already done. But everybody, you know, been keeping people employed this week. Everybody been talking about it. Some courteous things, some have not. We see you. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Some have reached out. Some tried to rip the video. All good. <laughs> we know where y'all live. But now, according to Stephen A. Smith, Michael Jordan has entered the debate. I have to read you a text that I received this morning at 5.54 a.m. Good morning, sir. <laughs> Although greatest of anything is always a debate, I beg to differ on greatest point guard of all time with what you said. Magic Johnson is easily the best point guard of all time. Steph Curry is very close but not in front of Magic. You must define point guard to really have a serious debate. Steph Curry is by far the best shooter Cap. of all time. Yes, his movement has created many shots for his teammates. He's a career 43% three-point shooter. But Magic Johnson invented the triple-double. Not true invented, but makes it more noticeable in terms of the impact on the game. It's a point guard stat, to be honest. Magic was the best. We can go on, but I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know you get the point. Hmm. By the way, Magic has five NBA championships. Wow. That quote this morning at 545 was from Mr. Michael Jeffrey Jordan. Wow. That's not even a text. That's a goddamn book. So you, you got the text at 554, mm -hmm. or you got the text at 545. You know you done fucked up. You right? know you done. You know you done <laughs> fucked up, dude. Well, he's at 54 then 45? But that's fine. He's on the air. He goes hard. But how long do you think it took MJ to type out that text on the flip phone? Without, without, his, without his glasses. Without yeah, I mean, glasses. at this point, if you got an iPhone, you can just, you can just talk it, right? Yeah. Yep. You can just talk it. Was he slurring when he said, when he talked about it? <laughs> uh, but, did he have a cigar in his mouth? But, 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 but. <laughs> so... Am I, uh, maybe my math is off, maybe I don't know the history of basketball too well, but I'm finna throw something out there and y'all let me know if I'm wrong. Who's older, Oscar or Magic? Oscar. Oh, okay. Hmm. And what position did Oscar play? Point guard. Mm. Point guard. And what did he average for a season? Triple-double. Oh, so he, oh, never mind. He's not even considered in the conversation. But he said he created. I'm glad he's not. No, he I'm said he created the. I'm glad he's not. No, but he said he created the triple double. I'm just trying to figure. Maybe, maybe my, maybe I'm, maybe there's some Benjamin Button shit going on here. Maybe this we're going in reverse. I, I, I don't know, but uh, Magic not a point guard. Good morning, sir. Oh, I'm just asking. Magic just, not a point guard. I mean, what is my? I mean, he's supposed to say that. Mike ain't, I mean, that's Mike that's ain't say that shit. I mean, that's man. his boy. Nah, they were just I, I on think, vacation together. I think Mike said it because it's. And today you can get called out, and one of them little Jordan boys is gonna call him out if MJ didn't do it. But Mike wouldn't even comment on who's the greatest player of all time. Because has nothing to do it. Because has the. Cause why would he comment it? on the best point guard? And then why would you say it after Steph's calling himself? What because he him? had to get call this man's himself. approval. Because I hope he just didn't go out and read this man's text unsolicited. On no, I yeah. think MJ said he could share it. Yeah. On. So he asked, "Do you mind if I read this on air?" And he said, "Yes." So yeah. Fuck out of here, Mike. 
I ain't taking okay. a picture with no nigga. Okay, here's, here's I my... I think, yeah, because you ain't here, here, here's my thing. on national television. When we like, say... Just define, play like that, hopefully. When we say define point guards, I mean, that's a great question because that I usually... When I was knocking Steph for pure points, it was the pure point, right? What is a pure point? What is a point guard? Um... When, when it comes to magic, you're, you're talking about a guy who is a one of one, right? It's not a traditional person. Mm -hmm. um, so you're, you're trying to put a guy, you're trying to, it's like Joker. You're trying to put a guy who's just a basketball player in this position to, 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 to identify with it, mm -hmm. right? M magic was a small four shooting guard coming into the NBA. His first four years, he was the shooting guard. Norm Nixon was the point guard, right? When they moved Norm, they gave the ball to Magic because it was better played by a guy at that size, right? So he was your small forward who guarded the small forward but had the ball in his hand. Mm -hmm. And because he did what he did, like Joker does, they called him the point guard, mm -hmm. right? That's where point forward comes in from. Thank you. So, if we want to use, and I always did this to people, just to fuck with them. If you're going to use Magic as the best point, I'm going to use LeBron. Exactly. Now LeBron's the number one point guard. Yeah. Then you can be like, oh, LeBron ain't the point. Well, he <laughs> led his team in assists every fucking year. Every year, absolutely. It, you know, so he has to be the best point guard of all time. Yeah. Right? So if you're going to play with Magic, because LeBron was 2.0 of Magic Johnson. Mm -hmm. Coming into the NBA, he was Magic Johnson with Jordan-like Jumping ability. Absolutely. That was the frame. So you can't now take him out of it yeah. because he's then surpassed all of these stats. Right? So if you're going to try to use Magic as the point guard, then you have to throw LeBron as the best point guard ever. But you're not going to do that. But this is yeah. what we've done. Just with that conversation alone, we've forgotten about what we're, what we're talking about. We're talking about Steph Curry. Mm -hmm. Fuck what Mike talking about Magic. Fuck Oscar. Fuck Alton. Mm -hmm. Steph Curry's the best point guard of all time, because he said so. That's it. That's not Everybody it. else's opinion about it don't fucking matter to Steph Curry, because he say, I'm the best. So everybody else coming in saying you're not, you're a fucking hater. The nigga said it himself. I'm the best. Who better than me? My stats prove it. My championships prove it. What the fuck else is there to talk about, except for the hate? Hey, yo, you a hater for having an opinion? Absolutely. Especially when uh, a nigga saying For real? Himself, Wait, really? And what is an opinion then? No, I'm talking about opinion against the, the horse that's saying it. If the nigga that's saying it... So if Magic says he's the, number, he's the best player ever... His Magic, that's what Magic... Magic feel that way, but it ain't Magic saying it. But this is did, Mike saying it. This no. is other people saying, no, Steph, you're not. Wait. <laughs> no, Steph, you're not. Wait, so if, if Gilbert Mag say he's the best scorer in, 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 in a modern era of 2008 to 2010 or whatever era, who, who, who are we to say that you are not? Stats. Their st your stats back it up. And best point guard ever? No, that you were the best scorer of that time that you was playing. Your stats back it up. At 25, like, who was better? Nobody. So if Steph says, man, I'm the best point guard of all time because my stats and I ain't done playing, my, my, my. Hey, Steph, if you say it, shit. So I ain't gonna be the one. I'm not gonna be the. I'm not gonna be the. I'm not gonna be the one to say that you're not. I'm not gonna be the one to say no, you're not. But that's not a great argument. You gotta have like real argument. Yeah, like somebody's gonna have a different opinion, but that doesn't make you a hater though. Like you know what I'm saying? Because I mean, because if Magic says I'm the greatest point guard ever, and we be like, no, so that means I'm a hater because I I don't think he is because he said it. Yeah. No, then hey, the, no, no, they were all haters. No, because hate no. 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 nigga say no. nigga say he the best. No, Why, who no, do you to say he not? No. And we're all who do you say he not? Though? <laughs> wait, 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 who you say I, he not? So is no, LeBron wait. the best ever? <laughs> if LeBron say it, I mean he has, but you don't consider him the best ever. I'm a hater. Okay, no, you're, no, you're not. Yes. That's your opinion. No, you can have an opinion. I'm because I'm hating. No. Cause I'm hating. No, you might if have a LeBron feel he the best and he say it out his mouth, nigga. Who am I to say no? No, but you might have a valid opinion. I don't have no, a valid why? opinion because uh, that's uh, him. Okay. But that's not uh, how you do uh, that's not how we do arguments. <laughs> that's like, not how that, because the fucking uh, public and the society is the way it is. It's like everybody feel they can have a fucking opinion about some shit, a personal somebody they, they, mm -hmm. of their own say, I am this, 
Who the fuck are you to tell me that I'm not? Right. No, no, I get no, no, What the fuck do you mean? Who the fuck are you to tell me yeah. that I'm not? Yeah. No, no, definitely. I don't want to fucking hear that. No, no, it definitely, it definitely depends on the levels of who it is. Like certain people can't. Yes, I get what you're saying. But, but if like, but if we're, <laughs> but if we're sitting up here, you're sitting up here, we're all sitting up here, we, which we played in the league, and somebody say they're the greatest and we denying it, that don't mean that we're a hater. We actually play on that same court. So how can we work? That's just our opinion. Because he has the right to say he's whoever he wants. No, no, he can. Be. And I'm not saying it's not right. I'm just saying, well, to me, that's just not it. If you're not going to support it, then don't say nothing at all. Because you hate. And if you... But why if do I have to s- sit, okay, but why do I have to sit up here and listen to it? Okay. You don't. Okay. You don't have to listen to it. You don't have to comment on it. Mm-hmm. You don't have to respond I, to it. If the nigga say, hey, look, I'm the greatest of all time. What's up? All right. That's, okay, cool. That's a bet. Okay. Everybody, 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 not, everybody, not, everybody not gonna do it because yeah. everybody got some type of hate shit to say about it. <laughs> the, the, only, the only problem I have. So, I, so why is telling the truth hating? What is the truth? What's the truth? What the fuck it? is telling the truth hating? What is the truth? That's your opinion. opinion no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah so if yeah. you say you the greatest NBA player of all time and I tell you out of your goddamn mind, am I hating? Yeah. No. Cause you, who are you to tell me I'm not? Because you're not. Because I say I am. Because you're not. I am. <laughs> to me, I am. No, I, who are you to tell me I'm not? Because no, you're not. not. I hear, I hear who are you to tell me I'm but, not? I, I because no not, one so else. Now you just because hate no but one I, else so now agrees you with you. So tell me someone else that agrees with you, then I'll agree with you. You don't have to. Cause Show Steph, me more than one person. Steph Curry, but how does Steph Curry agrees with me? But what I'm saying, if I say what? Steph Curry is the greatest ever, but why, he uh, says, "Yeah, I agree with you, bro. But, I am the but, greatest." But, but you're arguing something what that's the fuck not are we provable. About? Well, I mean that, like, right. like it's not a, it's not a provable thing if you just say I'm the best ever, and then someone says, "No, you're not," and then you say, "Yes, I am," because I said so. Yeah. That's not. That's that's it's, not. Why do I have to prove it, Gilbert? That's all I'm saying. Because. Like, the confidence and reality is two different things. Two oh fucking totally and I'm not saying, The yeah, only I, thing that makes reality in this conversation okay. is gonna, the fact that it's a true sounds me, like hate. Yeah. Call me Mrs. Arenas. Like that, that's, they do that. Gilbert, that's, and we that's call what you we do the, now. We call you you want to identify as a fucking we, girl, Mr. We, we, Mrs. Arenas? We call you delusional. We're going to call you Arenas. We're going to call Mrs. you delusional. We're going to call you delusional. No, they're not. They're going to call you. Just think the facts. No, they're going to say it's a pronoun, Gilbert. They're not going to say you're delusional. They're going to say you are Identify as a woman now, Gilbert. I don't know what you're identified with. I don't that, care. That's what you just said, <laughs> nigga. Back to the point guard. Back to the point guard. Back to point guard. You just said back, that. Back to the point guards. No, when it comes to magic, this is the only problem I have when, when we're talking about the greatest, right? Where's the factor in that he came into a dynasty, right? The team went to the Western Conference Final two years straight. Two years straight, which means this is a fucking good team. They add him, win a championship. Right? His legacy is already above everyone because he already got put onto a dynasty team. Mm -hmm. Right? Out of his first 10 years, he went to the finals eight times, won five championships. Right? In that same time frame, he was the number one pick, won a championship. The reason they didn't win it the second time, because he was hurt. He comes back healthy, championship. Right? Then they lost, and then they get James Worthy, the number one pick. The team was so good, James Worthy didn't even start the first year. Mm. Right? He didn't even, the number number one one pick pick (laughs) didn't even start. That's how good this team was. Mm -hmm. Right? So you you're you're inherited this greatness where you become this is like giving fucking the Lakers. The shit, Boston, Boston. Yes. The uh, shit, we get Boston. You give. Um, um, <laughs> nah. Um, Detroit. Bucks. 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 Miami. You give them Wendy. When they don't. Victor. You give him Victor. Like, well, come on. You, that, that's like, you know what I mean? He's gonna get inherited greatness off the jump, right? No. Magic did his thing. Absolutely. Right, right, right. Taking it off his plate. No, no one's taking it off. But when you're talking about greatness and you're talking about championships and you're trying to stand behind championships, your your team went to the finals eight straight times and they just added Jew. They just added Jew. You won a championship because your team was a Western Conference final team two years fucking straight. Like, this is not, you didn't go to some bottom feeding team and you had to build it like Steph. So are you saying that mm. the conversation is questionable with Magic being considered the greatest? You're, 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 when we're ca- talking about greatness, right? It's what did you, like, it should be where did you start from 
What did you build? What did you take it to? If Magic got dropped onto a Western Conference Finals team, and then the next step is championship, <laughs> every <laughs> year, I mean, come on. So like, we're good. talking about, like, Steph, they won 26 games, 23 games. They yeah. drafted him. He's yeah. got hurt. You know, they get Clay. Clay's the number 11th pick, right? Clay didn't start. Right, right, right. right. Clay didn't start. Right, right. Then two more seasons. Then you get Draymond Green. Draymond Green didn't start the first three seasons. The first year he started, they won a championship. Yep. Right? Then they became a dynasty. Yep. Right, right, right. Right? A bottom feeding team mm -hmm. became the dynasty versus a guy who got inherited the dynasty. Right? Back then it was flipping coins. All right, head or tail. It was like fucking football. Yeah. Who gonna get the kickball first? Yeah. That's who got the number one or two pick. So as long as you flip, you got one or two. They got right. that twice. Yep. Right. Now you're talking about a dynasty getting the number one pick two out of the, the next four years. Hey, it's, it's bullshit. Yeah, that'd think be, about the like. Think about cool. Bird. Bird goes that you get inherited to the team. Yeah, yeah, just say like. <laughs> yeah, you go right to Boston. <laughs> so uh, Tim Duncan was the pick and number one pick, and just imagine they already had the number one pick like three years later. Three, but uh, but not, yeah. but but not the, Tim Duncan's, right? His team was a great team. Yep. They was the number one team. Then they all got hurt. Got the number one pick. Add Tim Duncan. Uh oh. We're dynasty again. Oh, yeah, that's some bullshit. Mm. <laughs> so that's some bullshit, you know what I mean? But that, no one wants to throw into that equation. Well, wasn't that their first championship? Who? Tim Duncan got 99. there? 99. 99. But, but it was just like the Lakers. They're, they're tweeting on... Oh, they were right there all the time. Yeah, they're right okay. there on the... Okay. That's they what I said. nasty season to get Duncan then, but okay. before that, they were... Before, still, before that, okay. they won one, two, one, one, two. Okay. Like, yeah, okay. Everybody go always have an opinion, man, because you can't... But I don't think your opinion is <clears throat> a hater, though. Yeah, no, not, not, not at all. This nigga's delusional over here, man. Haters. <laughs> but it, it, hate, hate, hate. No, no, no it's just, hate, hate. But your opinion ain't positive, it's fucking hate. So, like, so to me, like, if we're gonna say the best point guard ever, I have to give it to the guy who technically, in our sense, came from the mud. Right? He actually built, like Michael Jordan. Yeah. We see your team was trash, and y'all built this championship. Yeah. Steph Curry built this championship. Bird and Larry, y'all was, <laughs> was given a great team. Tim Duncan, he was given a great team. Like everyone's not fortunate. Yeah, it don't take like away from their greatness, but it, it, the fact remains. Yeah, you start. You're starting. Is. You're starting yeah. here. Yeah, so and all you got to do is just walk, motherfucker. Just up the up the thing. Everybody else is starting from the bottom. Because everything so, is already set for you. Yes. So all you got to do is just just, yeah, just it's don't all fuck set. It up. So what's the criteria for which one? Greatest point guard of all time. He said it's, it's everything. Influence, like you know, um, like how many when when Magic was doing like. What was his staple on the world? Showtime. Showtime. Okay, but fast him himself. Break, fast break. Shoes. No. Right? Was anybody trying to mimic? Was anybody trying to create six nine point guards back then? No. Smiling. Right? No look passes. I mean, I mean, no but what passes. but what I'm saying is, was was the game being mimicked after magic? No. Because the Pete was doing no looks before. But I'm saying the game wasn't yeah, mimicked yeah, yeah. after Magic I, I, I because Jordan uh, because Jordan uh, came. Yeah, yeah. Jordan no, came right, right after that, and everybody right. wanted to be Jordan. Yeah, everybody right. wanted but, to fly. But, but to say nobody wanted there to be was Bird. A moment. There was a moment of Magic no look show. No, no, for sure. No, no, there was for a sure. moment. But, 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 but not Jordan like got Mike though. Mike no, came no, in. But I said before Mike got there, there was the Magic moment. Magic had his time. Oh, there's been it was it was white and black. Small moment. It was white and black. Bird and Magic. It's been three game changers. Single-handedly changed the game of basketball, dog. Three, three. Michael Jordan, Shaquille O'Neal, and Steph Curry, man. Changed the game of basketball. The way the game of basketball is ref, coached, played, mm -hmm. drafted. All them three guys single-handedly changed the game of basketball. Allen Iverson? No. No. Uh -uh. He changed. He changed. He, 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 he changed the culture. The culture of basketball. He didn't change the I game. He changed the, he changed the culture. Culture like, of basketball. Like yes. everybody wanted to have braids. Everyone absolutely. wanted to get tattoos. sleeve tattoos. tattoos. The he, culture, yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yes. We talking about the game. No, for, no, no inside for the sure, game. For, for, inside the inside the game itself. No, like for sure, was, for everybody for wants to be Curry, and everybody was motherfuckers was getting drafted. I fucking disagree. How? <laughs> Everybody's getting drafted because of Shaq. Because, ah, because of Shaq. I disagree, God damn it. Everybody was, How? Everybody was getting drafted. Because I'm entitled to my fucking opinion. Cool. God damn it. Everybody was getting just like drafted. It, just like everybody of, got ass of Shaq. <laughs> They was loading up on big men just because Shaq. Right now, yeah. every, everybody, every AAU kid wants to be 
like Steph. Just, I want to be like Mike. Every kid wants, wants to be, to be like, like Steph. Because there's more yeah, kids than Steph. Bed. It's, 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 let's put the discussion to bed. Let's put the discussion to bed. So, it is, yeah. You know, our days on the discussion. No, but yeah. that's that's the yeah. thing. So when I say who's the best guard, best point guard ever, I, I got to look at who transcended, mm -hmm. who everyone identifies with. Total body of work. Who started from the bottom to the top. Yeah. Right now, that, that's Curry. Yes. So you give Steph. Like that I, I give. I listen. I give him. Look, when it comes to the numbers, Magic, what he did, got yeah, them, it can't be. It can't sure. be duplicated. Nah, for sure, for sure. It no, can't be sure. duplicated. If he was in today's game, God damn it, he wouldn't be stopped. Yeah, because you can't right? discredit what's on paper. You can't discredit yeah, yeah. at all. So would you but, say? But if they yes, started, but but I can tell yes, you this. But if he started from the bottom, he wouldn't have five rings. But what, what do you? What's more impressive to you, Magic's five rings or Steph's four, knowing that Steph's, Steph's got, two, four. Steph's Steph's got four. two of those with KD, though? Steph, Steph's four rings. Come on, Joe, don't do that shit. I'm just asking you. What do you mean? Talk about we, that bubble ring. What do you mean? But what I'm saying is you got Magic, you talk about he come into a, a, a winning franchise, right? Eight finals to get those five rings. Steph got the two with KD. One outside of those. Brian got, Brian got two with Dwayne Wade. Oh, throw that out there. Sure. What I'm, 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 not, I'm not even bringing Brian into your question, but I'm just saying. So do you, do you think Magic's five are more impressive or Steph's four? You have to go with the guy who who had a bad team, just like Michael Jordan's legacy is is built from where he started to what he did. He he grinded from the beginning. For sure. You that's what I'm saying. You're talking about a guy who got a golden spoon from the beginning of his career. Right? You you came in, you have you have arguably you I mean the number two scoring the best score all time. All time. You have him on your team at the beginning of your career. Right? The, well, what else you got to do? Hmm. What a worst case scenario, give it the ball to that dude right there. That's worst case of, scenario. That's a point. That's guard. what I said. Magic is the shooting guard. Him and Norm Nixon splitting the point guard uh, yeah, responsibilities. Sure. And then when they went, when they realized, eh, Magic, let's just go put this ball in Magic hands. They were both averaging like ten, 10 assists. I mean, that should. If you go back and look at those stats and those numbers, what they were doing in that. that show that's what, when you when you listen when you can bring the number one point, the number one draft pick off the bench, you got a fucking great ass team. Yeah. <laughs> that's how great your team is. Blame the Cavs. Right, I'm just I'm just 100%. saying that's just that's just the reality of it. We don't want to talk about the reality. We don't want to talk about what was going on back in this, the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s when it came to drafting. Yeah. Oh, you you everybody give it this and you know, we'll we'll give you our our pick if we last. Flip a coin. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but even how the, that? how the Lakers got worthy from the Cavs trade, and the, the NBA instituted the rule where you couldn't trade first round picks in consecutive years. Because yeah, the Cavs owner was smoking for the, crack. For the second time in season one, I, I fucking <laughs> agree with Gilbert. I fucking agree with this you. This is number two? This is number two. Uh -oh. I fucking agree with you, my man. No, we I fucking we agree, Steph Curry. Got one. I fucking agree. I mean, there's a lot of discussion. Like, I'm all ahead. I'm always going to just rock with Magic just because of the influence on the court, off the court. If Steph opens up a movie theater with unlimited strawberry <laughs> soda refills in the hood, he will be. No, no, no. That's, that's, how you like, feel. that's what I need. That's all you got to do. But as I said, the impact, but that's the, the problem is the, the impact that, you know, Magic. You know, um, Bird had, you know, it was racism going in, and they was motherfucker battling that bitch out on the court, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> and they was battling that motherfucker who, who was gonna win black or white at that time. Like, I, listen, we get that, right? But when it comes down to, like, when you're talking about somebody's legacy, it's, it seems like it's, it's a better feel if the guy, like, we like Batman, we, we good, you know, we, we like Batman, you know, billionaire becomes. You know who he is. You yeah, he, he got all the tools, bitch. Yeah. You, know I mean? <laughs> you got all the tools, goddamn it. You, you know everything. we we do yeah. want to see the Joker whoop your ass a couple of times. We do, but you know Steph coming from mm. how he started his career, hurt, losing, bad team, and they got better within the organization to build what they built. Yep. Right. That's more. That's way more impressive than Western Conference Finals. Western Conference Finals. Oh, we got the number one pick. <laughs> so we talk, you talk stuff, Matt, you mentioned LeBron too. Does LeBron need to be in this conversation? If you're going to put, listen, I always, listen, when we do starting five, y'all y'all always see my starting five. Yeah. They're like, point guard, LeBron. <laughs> Number one. Now, you, you sit there with the 6'9", the motherfucking Magic Johnson, why can I get the 6'9", who's supposed to be Magic 2.0? Yep. Right? Point forward, point forward. What the fuck is the difference? No difference. Are you I do playing? it every time. Everybody yeah. hate it. Only thing I got to say, if we're going to throw this KD going to the Warriors thing for, for Steph, we got to do it with LeBron. We're doing everybody. I'm, I'm trying to knock. I'm just saying, you're talking about Magic being essentially drafted into a super team. 
And you got to just mention that, that, that of Steph's four rings, two of those were with. But he built that. Okay, he built. Came to yeah, as I so, said, you built. I mean, whoever came to the Lakers, what the, shit, at that point, no, who the fuck needed to come to the Lakers? Y'all had, y'all the, y'all had, y'all the mafia over there. Y'all the Lakers. Y'all had every number one pick y'all could possibly get. But how is that an asterisk on Steph and not an asterisk on KD? I'm saying it's not a, no. It's not actually going to nobody. No, no, neither one. But I'm saying it's, it's Steph's team at that point. So but when we talk point, about the greatest, though, when we're saying greatest, right, and we're saying, like, okay, who's the greatest player of all time, and people say Braun, well, then if we're going to throw that, that thing about KD going over there, well, then we got to throw that thing about Braun going over there to play with Dwayne yeah, Wade yeah. and And that could not... If championships if, are included. Yeah, in championships. Yeah, but, I, but, that, but, but you see why I always, like push back on that championship because it's it's like when you look through history you're you're looking at some of these guys who's using their rings and like yeah. yo you can't do that today you can't be the number 1 pick in the draft going to the second or third best team in the NBA that doesn't happen anymore nah. right you can't do that that's like Ant, that's like Ant-Man being drafted instead of uh, Wiseman, Ant-Man being drafted yep. to the Golden State Warriors. Yep. Now he's sitting around here talking about, yeah, I'm a champ, I'm all this, I'm better than y'all. Like, oh, that's... You know, you know who that could have happened to? That could have happened to Melo if he would have got uh, picked Detroit. by Denver, Detroit. Yeah. Like, if, if, if they pick... If, if but, but, win, that and but that could have been, but that yeah, been a guy who different. came off the bench. Mm. Behind like Rip Hamilton yeah. and all Tayshaun of them, yeah, Tayshaun yeah. Prince. Yeah. Them. He could have been a guy who came off the pinch, but his, his career could have started like that. But his legacy would have been yeah. oh shot out the roof because yeah. by the time he kicked in his skills, yeah. they would have been dominant. Yeah. yeah, they had all the pieces already. He would have right. just tapped in, yeah. and then from there you're just adding one or two picks, getting a fucking 15, 12, 35th draft pick. At that point, it didn't matter. That would have looked scary. But I mean, think about it. You you lose a championship. You lose a championship. Right, you win. It would have all look different, though. It would have been scary, but it would have been scary. It would have like, all looked different because if Melo in Detroit. I'm never in Denver. I'm still in Jersey, and we yeah. It was so all, that that butterfly was, effect. It would that all look was, different. But you don't. Know, but you don't. But you, don't know, I, you. I went to Denver because Melo was in Mello. Denver. But yeah, that's it. You could have so, been there. You could. But you could have been in Detroit yeah, instead of somebody like, Ben Wallace yeah, now. Yeah. yeah and you see how? But you see how you just you just. It would have been crazy. You just trade one piece and add. That's why I said when you look at the Lakers roster, you're you're sitting here looking like. All right, we got Magic, we got Kareem, we got James Worthy, we got Michael Cooper, we got all, we got our five. All we're doing is just adding little pieces here and there. You're not building anything. Mm. There's no build there. You're just adding, you're just tweaking your sixth, seventh, eighth man. And, you know, Kurt Rambis, when, you know, our number one pick gets his game on, then we just insert you, get rid of you, bring somebody in. Like, what the fuck is that? That's, that's, what, that's, what, that's what the game was then. Yeah. Right now, you know what I mean? It's... No, that's crazy. Uh, it's, it's different. Like, come on, you you got five rings and you got five rings in s eight years. How good is your team then, man? I mean, you went to the finals every year. Can, can you, you, you know what I mean? It, it's 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 a it's a different it's a different thing. Can we um tell the people in the chat to to start posting this shit so we can get twelve point five in, in the chat? Oh, can we get? <laughs> Don't listen to whatever Gil says after this. I know that's his chat. We need Why to open everybody want to get me because drugged Because you, you're going to tell them to jump off. You're fucking up our money. Around this. <laughs> you're going to tell them to jump off. You're fucking up our money. Gil, we already had the 10K deal. Uh, as you know, Gil reneged on it. He reneged hey. on it. He reneged, hey, bro. He reneged on that 10K. I'm going to say, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say something, though. From Steph. You, get, you got a text from him? What's up? You got the text from him? I didn't get a text from Steph. <laughs> 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 when I asked him, I said, and we can take it either way, mm -hmm. right? And I said, who is the, who's behind you then? Mm -hmm. I mean, Detroit got stand up a little bit. Yeah, baby. He said Zeke. Zeke, God damn it. Look, I didn't want to bring him into the discussion because he only got two, but I'm a, I grew up a bad Detroit Wait, Pistons happened? fan. I said, Thomas, when I, when I, when I, when I asked, I asked Steph, I said, you know, uh, who's behind you? Mm -hmm. And he was like, Zeke. 
Let it be known. Like, ah, let it be known. Ah, yes. Let it be known. <laughs> Why you let do that? Known. Why you do that? Uh, uh, <laughs> you know, he he, he said he didn't want to be told me. You paid in the billboard. You paid in the billboard. Now it's not going to be in the billboard. You paid 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 in the as a point guard. I understand, but but you you won a few, and then if we talking just, are we going on numbers? Are You're we championships? Guard. And are, are, do we have to go? Do we have to put championships in that as well? I don't. Because then you got John Stockton, which like you, it's hard not to equate. He's in him. the top five for sure. I'm saying like, he's but in some sure. people, like, John Stockton like in the top five. My top five. Sure. That's my player, top five. But, but, some, some, people, but some people, but some people have. John Stockton as in front of Zeke, two, three, th three, whatever, in front of Zeke. You know what I'm saying? So Jake is in the top five. You know what I'm saying? But look, but I'm telling you, but as far as numbers, but look, I, I like John Stockton is the the reason I don't do numbers is this. You, wait, wait, you no, 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 no. When do you not? Hold on, hold on. When it comes to a I'm assist, I'm about to say if you if y'all start digging <laughs> on home assists, first road assists, oh, there's a big old difference with John Stockton with all of them. Oh. It was very friendly at the house. Let's just say that on some of them. Oh, we're, oh, we're yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, oh, I agree. You know, oh, so, the, somebody oh. averaging like 11 assists, they averaging 14 at home yeah. and on that road is getting yeah. offset. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. Okay, 7-8. 7-8. 7, eight. seven, eight. Nine. seven eight. but that's Solid. what I'm saying. So, eight. you know, some of these numbers is really inflated because you don't know. And then today's game is different than, you know, yeah. so it seemed like if some of those older guys was under today's rules where I can pass it to you, you can take two dribbles, and shoot the ball, you would think that they they have more assists. But how is it in the game played? back how in the day was just get right to the point. Get right to the point. But if we saying like you saying like if the the numbers are inflated at home compared to away, doesn't that go with home court advantage being able to play good on the road or play bad on the road, but we play excellent on at home? Like no, no. 16, 15 assists a game is just no. It's called like, I like I like John Stockton. That's my guy. Yeah. That was an assist. So, Carmelo, that's You talking about the stat guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's it. <laughs> so the stat guy yeah. over there is padding the stats? Oh, yeah. well, I have Sometimes. Hey, you so know, that I bounce mean, pass, you that bounce pass. You, you see stats at the half on the road, like, oh, hell, I got five rebounds, bro. Yeah. Oh, you got me down here for three. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. <laughs> la, 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 got your shit down as a team. Yeah, yeah, a team rebound like now. Y'all like because hey, a team assist that goes under the whoever the best player is at that time. Mm -hmm. So team, they don't know who it team is. Assist, they team assist, team rebound, let a team rebound. Whoever the leading rebounder you is give it on him. that team yeah. is getting that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Team Martin got 19. He needs 20. Yeah. For a career high. You know this team rebound ain't. Damn. Trip. Damn. You all are pulling Especially the curtain home. back. Especially yeah. at home? Especially yeah. At home. No, but I'm like, but far as just point guards, you got to, I'm saying, you got Steph, Magic, this, what their position has them listed as. Mm. As, yeah. I'm saying, then you got Zeke, John Stockton, then it's J.K. But that, that's what I said. Now, if we was all, if we was all picking mm -hmm. right now, right, who's going to pick Stockton over J.K.? Yeah, Nobody. No one. No one. You know, and, that, and that's how I look. I mean, that's, who, who knows basketball? They will. She, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, who is nobody? Yeah, some. Well, I'm just, like, who is these nobodies? You, yeah. you, uh, anybody? Like, 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 because I, I want, huh? Utah. Like, you, I'm you're just, crazy. Yeah. People that know basketball are, are, is are picking team. John Stockton in the top five. What did he do that was, like, I mean, besides. He led the league in a sense. And, and I've been to the finals twice. I mean, everybody in the 90s got the same story. We lost to one guy. Yeah. Everybody got the same story well, uh, in the 90s. We lost to one guy. One guy. We're talking about the It's one guy. We're talking about Hakeem. Hakeem. Hakeem, you, you, uh, you know, Hakeem Lucky Mike went to go do that. Like, you, we're sure. talking about the game. I'm itself, sure. Right? The, the game itself. I mean, you, you, you can see how it's played. <laughs> they I mean, not be. They, they not. I got a 6 5 point guard. If you line them up. And line them up. pick J. Kidd if it's. I'm just why? J Kidd they had if they were is that dog. Uh -huh. I said J Kidd's a dog. Because defensively Defensively yeah, strong six five strong. Well you wanna you you gave John over Z because he ended up a better defender. I was, he no, 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 because no, no. <laughs> I don't know that no, no, no. <laughs> he play? No, he did that. No, he did that because John got at him. John got at him. Oh, actually. John got at him his rookie year. John let him know. I don't even remember my what happened to my second year. John let him know. John Bad. let him know first year. Got you. My John let him know I first year. I didn't even know. But that's I didn't even know I played the last game of the season like that. What happened I, I, the second year? 
What yeah, huh? what's, the, what's, the, what's the difference between retired man? What's the difference between retired? Get out, get up, get off the court, old man. What's Who the, got old pops here? <laughs> old pops. Look, I, listen, I bust that man's ass so bad. They offered me seventy-two million. Nah, that's a lie. Not off John. Now nah, you ain't getting that off John. Cap. You ain't getting that off John. Seventy. Now nah, you ain't getting that off John. Nah, not off John. Seventy-two. He was retired. Seventy-two. I turned it down. I'm not following John Stockton over there. I don't even play this. I don't even play the same style. I, that's career ending. Not John. 72 for six. What's the difference between J. Kidd and John? They both been to the front. Well, oh. well one got a ring. Not, it's not height. We're not talking about four height. Inches. We're not going to talk about height. We're not going to talk about uh, height. Probably like 20 pounds. Skills. But skills. Skills? What's the difference between One's them? vision was unreal. One, one vision was yeah, like I'm about to say, yeah. unreal. Yeah, J. Kidd vision was like. Okay. Unreal. So that's one. Give me something else. Defense. Can guard one, two, I mean, and all three. Let me, do, let me use your thing. How many all-defensive did J.K. make? I don't know. I don't know. Look I don't know. How many, but you know how many John made, though. Okay, how about this? You know how many John made, How about though, this? Right? Let's, let's try I mean, this. John made eight. Will John right? Stockton... Will, all defense. Will, will John Stockton stop Jason not, Kidd? Yeah, nine for Jason Kidd. Nine. Four, four first team, five. Six. Well, you, so he has more. Well, you said... So John Stockton has more. I mean, J.K. has more than You that. said that... John Nine Stockton can stop eight. Zeke. Huh? Nine is more than eight. eight yeah, so he has. <laughs> you said John Stockton can stop Zeke. No, I didn't. Yes, I didn't say he did. could stop. I didn't say he could you, stop Zeke. You, I said he had more defensive. You said more. John Stockton was locking that shit up. We got not, the clip. Not Zeke. We got the clip. Not Zeke. I didn't say Zeke. I said he was just locking up. If Zeke is the head of the snake, why ain't he locking people down to get these defensive? Dude, cooking, John. So the difference between, so I'm just saying, like the difference between John what? and J. Kidd, when you talk about top five, it's all like if I was to reorder my top five, because I had J. Kidd, Zeke. Uh, so you have J. Kidd. So what? No, I'm saying if I was to reorder it, I would put Steph at the top, and then I would put Zeke, J. Kidd, John Stockton, CP. So jo where's Magic? So John Stockton. He's not in my top five because he's not a point guard to me. He's just, he's a oh. point forward. I'm not putting Magic or LeBron or none of the hybrid point guards. I'm putting the guys who play true point guard. So right. then Steph would be a hybrid point guard considered too? I wouldn't consider him that now because... It, it, that's what I said. The game has changed so much that it's, it's just hard. Yeah, to, what does the true point guard mean? Though? The point guard's job is to initiate the offense and create scoring opportunities. If they create that shit for themselves, that's still a scoring I, opportunity. I, listen, I, listen, you're telling me. That's what I said. J yeah. J Magic, that's what I said. Magic, Magic Johnson himself technically fucked up the point guard position. Because when he came in and did what he did from that position, everyone assumed and everyone went on the thing that we need to bring in the guy who makes the team better, who can run the offense. That's a one of one. You cannot recopy. You cannot recopy that. That's why, out of, if you take Magic out, every championship from Magic moving forward to today, the point guard position, right? It was averaging 4.1 assists a game from that position. It was not an impactful of making the team better. Since Magic, Kyle Lowry yep. has the most assists coming in from, a, um, from the point guard position. It's him, um, Avery Johnson, J. Kidd when he won it in Dallas. From that position. It's not, a, it's not a guy who was sitting there. It's not, those, it's not the guy who's sitting there creating all this, this, this offense for everybody. No CP? No, he ain't won a championship. Oh, you're saying championships. Okay. Yo, see, man, Ron, when Rondo won it, Rondo wasn't Rondo. Rondo was just a nigga on the court that they were trying to get rid of the whole time. That's why he hate the rest of them. Remember, yeah. they was questioning, oh, this second, he was a second-year right. player. He was a second year player when he won. They was like, who is this dude? He didn't, he didn't start. Like, why are we, like, we need to bring in some. That's when they bring in, they bring in, like, Sam Cassell. They was bringing in all these guys because they didn't believe in Rondo. And when Rondo won a championship, sure won a win. Yeah, huh? Yeah. Don't talk to me. <laughs> don't talk to me. Nah, don't be, on the, don't be on the Rondo bandwagon now. And that's where all that beef started from with them. Mm. Yo, you got CP3 top five? Yeah. Over Tony Parker? Yeah. <laughs> Man. Yeah, 100%. Damn. 100% but, but see, over Tony Parker. But, but see, Tony Parker only averaged what? The most he averaged was a six, five? So I need to. Hey, 100% over speak, Tony hey, Parker. Speaking of that Laker team and that dynasty, can y'all ask me, in the last, how tall was uh, Kareem? 7'2", right? So, yeah, 7'2". Yeah. Seven, yeah. yeah. Uh, 7'2"? How come the last eight years of his career, he didn't even average 10 rebounds? 
the fuck was he doing? He was tired, you know what I'm <laughs> You say the last how many years? The last eight years. Eight years is a long time. La- the last eight years of his career. Oh, no. I man, Cap had that thing in cruise control. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, Magic, no, no, I ain't gonna front though. No, no, no. Because no, it, what, eight what years it was, is a long time, hey, not to average. What it was, Magic going to get it. And I'm they just go. Get, I'm gonna go get him. How many hey, did James have? Hey, hey, I'm gonna go Don't get him. Don't even talk about no James. Hey, James and rebound. Hey, James, I'm gonna go get on this block. Hey, I'm gonna hey, go cool. get on this block, man. Worthy. This hand, big James, big game James ain't had on. I think James averaged the most. This, the most he ever had was probably five and a half, six. Cause that's magic going. Like they know magic going. How many magic? Uh, seven. Magic he was up there. seven a game. He was up there. But I'm saying James Worthy, your power forward, averaging three, five, six. Like what the fuck was your? What the fuck was y'all big man doing? We was getting buckets. <laughs> getting what was your big man doing? J- James ain't rebounding nor motherfucking. Uh, <laughs> big cap. Big cap. Kareem was fifteen to seventeen footers. He's not, he not near the fucking cook. The guards was rebounding the, more. The guards was rebounding. But that's what I'm saying. That shit crazy. Y'all run. As hell. Y'all go. <laughs> y'all run. James Worthy was like the ball. I got a question for you. With, with J Kid, was he telling y'all to go? No, nigga. So he's just, just coming go. in there and getting the ball? Was he just, just go? No, the ball, he, he going to get it. Like, that's the thing. He, with, was, like, go, he was going no, to get it. That's the thing when people were talking about all that bullshit about Russ. Man, you can say all that shit you want, man. That shit take effort. He yeah. going to get it. Because I seen the motherfucker do it. Go get that bitch and take off going the other way. Hey, that bitch come off the rim. I got it. He going to get it. Mm. Yeah, I mean, hey, when you think about it, y'all, all you, uh, hey, Russ was rebounding more than uh, Kareem was yeah. Kareem's last eight years. <laughs> he rebound better than, <laughs> shit, Steph rebound better than fucking, uh. I'm saying, listen, man, that shit James was not. James Worthy! You going to get the ball. Crazy as hell. We just take off. Like, whoever was close, if we just get there, if go. one of us could be, hey, he right there, we going, but now he just go get the ball. Yeah, he, I mean, he, that's. So we got Kareem Beef, Isaiah Thomas. No, 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 Isaiah Thomas. Steph says he's the Robert Horry. <laughs> Robert Horry. Ain't, no, nah, ain't no Zeke Beef on right him. Robert, Robert Horry. Robert Horry. Talk about loser. it. Shots yeah. yeah. fired. No, Robert no, shot no. at you. No, nah. yeah, he, no shot, he shot at me. He was shooting because he ain't he, he, he watched the clip. He, 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 he received inaccurate he information. I think that's where the angle came that. from. He got to yeah. actually watch it. I Listen, listen. I, I, why am I arguing with a dude who got 2,000 people? On his uh, YouTube Stop, page. Stop, man. <laughs> yeah. Stop. He just started. He just started now. Again. I'm talking to a motherfucker who got two thousand. He just started Get now. Get your weight up, goddammit. You, you need me. You need me. <laughs> talking about I'm clout chasing. You clout chasing. God damn. He, he just uh, started. Two thousand. We are uplifting the, the basketball uh, podcast rookie. community. We are uplifting. We are uplifting. Big shot bottom say. And them seven rings ain't getting you no views. <laughs> 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 that's all I was saying. Where them seven rings at? Yeah, that's hot. Put it, put it, hey, hey, seven ring ball. That, that might get you some clicks. <laughs> like you got some oh, that. shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, them seven rings ain't helping you in the afterlife. I know you would take that 300 million right oh, now. Oh, <laughs> turn the AC on, man. What Bro, the fuck? Underdog fantasy does not. <laughs> <laughs> the views that y'all started, on the show. man. I ain't doing. I'm just being. I'm just sitting over here, man. No, trying he to started that coming back, <laughs> but, but he got inaccurate information. So I can understand. Imagine if somebody tell you, "Oh, Gil said this, that, whatever." That information. But that's why accurate. your information need to be right. And then it's like, I could go watch the video, but if you're older, you're not gonna do that. Mm. That shit is tiring. <laughs> I'm just gonna take whoever's word for it. Oh, Gil said X, Y, or Z. Hilarious. Twenty one hundred. I don't care. I'm taking that three hundred million. Y'all go on. Let's go ahead. Keep going. So we asked the chat, J Kid or Stockton. Uh, the chat picked Jason Kidd, seventy five percent or twenty five percent. But it's a lot of we talk about generational hating. There's a lot of generational haters in the chat, so there's no telling. Uh, James Worthy, like you said, at six point four rebounds was the most. Is damn them niggas was not rebounding for shit. I know that's what I'm saying. What the fuck was they doing? But that's why it's, it's also it's like team. okay, so what type of pro- player would James Worthy be today? In this era. Like, what, what's his value today? He wasn't athletic either, was he? Yeah, he was. He's fast. He's like Draymond to me. Like, like Draymond? Draymond. But, but more offensive. Yeah, yeah, more offensive. He could get the rebound, take it full court. See, that, but, uh, I, I, because Magic was moving, because it was on a fast break so much, you really never... Really saw his game. You never really, yeah. Like, he was a recipient of all them, the fast breaks. Most that's of what I'm time. saying. Like, how good are these players? Like, they only play for one team. So like, what would they look like in other systems? It's a good question. I mean, I mean, uh, shit. Because I think that's the. I think that's. I mean, the he was the number one player in college, so he had to be. 
I mean, but it wasn't. No, he was it, I mean, it wasn't was hard. Being, I mean, it wasn't hard being great back then. He was good. Um, <laughs> he was uh, good. Started Fuck. worshiping Fuck. him, dog. He was good, bro. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That's like Ice Man. Like Ice Man can play. They didn't have a three line back then. In, in, in it was easier. <laughs> like certain niggas can play in this era because it was like it wasn't about your skill, like your level of athleticism more than it was getting into the paint, getting those touches off. Like I watched Ice Man highlights, and I'm like, yo, he could definitely play. In this league, because no, he was getting buckets. There's no defense, so if you get to your spots and you was a master at your spot, you could, all you got to do is finish. So now it's like it ain't about athleticism more than it is about if you can actually play the game. I think some of them dudes back then can actually play, but if they got to their spots, it's money. Ain't no stopping that shit. I doubt it. I'm telling. I doubt it today. Go, go back gonna, and they watch. Don't They're not playing no defense today. Who playing D? Nobody hey, playing no I defense. I can say this right now. And they can say whatever they want, but I can tell you most of the white players that was back then ain't playing in today's game. You said white players? Yeah. I ain't say nothing about no white player. You think Kevin McHale's playing in this, this era? You don't Who? think Kevin McHale? Who? Kevin McHale? Fuck no! <laughs> <laughs> Did you see his movements back then? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, who you taking? Who you taking? A healthy Bill Walton or Kevin McHale? McHale. Exactly. Now, hell no. McHale. Ooh, Fuck ooh, no. Over healthy Bill? Fuck no. Hell yeah. The, the, hell Bill Walton? Yeah. The, the hurt Walton, Bill Walton yeah. was busting McHale's ass. They had to, they had to pull him back. Hey. Mm, listen, Bill Walton is over. Hey, I ain't a fan of Kevin not, not, McHale. Not that, not, not that first two years Kevin before your Kevin McHale has a hooper. <laughs> Kevin McHale has a hooper. Was better than Bill Walton? They, hey, this is he was giving niggas blue. I, I don't know what Dr. J... Listen, Dr. J said healthy Bill Walton... I'll take, I'll run my franchise over him before Bird. I mean, that's Dr. I mean, Dr. Dre don't even have Michael in his top five, so I can't. I, I'm, I'm, I can't, we can't listen, we can't, can't listen. But, can't that, listen. but that's not, can't listen. Listen. No, 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 Mike's not in your top five. But that's not, that's <laughs> not, that's <laughs> not, that's <laughs> that's not that's <laughs> Mike's not in your top five. I'm not listening to nobody, I'm not listening to nobody talk if Mike's not in your top five. But that's not his era. Okay, this is, but this is his era. All right, well. You know, Bill Walton and Bird is his era, so he's the. Who asked him about his era? I did. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> I did, I did in the big right, well, You know what I mean? Keep going. that, keep but that off the my, camera. My info, when I do, when I make takes, and I poke at a, 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 a error, I've already got the information. Right? I didn't talk to a, a, a few from that era. So you know, when I was calling them drunks, I already knew it was well, hard white. Rick Barry, I was just being nice. <laughs> Rick Barry or Larry Bird? Mm. Larry Bird. <laughs> I'm not taking somebody from the 50s. I'm sorry. He's from the 50s? Rick Barry, Alright, so where does the era of basketball... Come on, Gil. Rick Barry, not from the 50s. Where does the era of basketball... When basketball started. When basketball started. It was like, I mean, was he playing when they were still doing like the peach... They still had the peach bowl and shit. When was Rick Barry? Rick Barry was playing. 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 Rick Barry was when they was doing that shit, I'm not, I'm not taking you serious. I don't give a fuck what you're talking about. So Rick Barry wasn't cold? When they said, ah, oh, yeah, you was cold for that era, you, you sit here, we'll laugh at you. Try that shit today. So Somebody sit here doing this. So Bill Walton. So you, <laughs> we'll be able to free the line. <laughs> He's a bum. <laughs> we'll make you feel so insecure. <laughs> hey, foul him just so we can laugh. Foul him. <laughs> hey, no bullshit. Listen. I found the, the clip of Chuck Hayes on the free throw line. Oh, wow. So I, I oh, intend, fuck that. I intentionally found him <laughs> so he can go to the line. Yes. How do you think he got on line by himself? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was the clip that you did that shit? How do you think he got on the line by himself? <laughs> nigga, hey, so I we can get our fucking last, phone. man. Yeah, you're man. So imagine you out there being shooting. You're a bully. You're a bully. Yeah. <laughs> you're a bully. You're nigga, a bully. we all standing up looking at this man <laughs> getting ready to travel on the free throw. <laughs> we all <laughs> was laughing like, travel. That's a, and you're trying <laughs> And Chuck the ref laughed. Man, that's a travel. <laughs> that's, a, that's a travel. Come on, man. <laughs> it is. Where's the AC oh, at? Man, it's hot, man. <laughs> I'm just saying, come on, man. There's just some man, shit that you just. Somebody shit. There's just some Fuck. shit. There's just Play some it, shit man. that we'll be just laughing at like oh, today. Come it on. is straight. Yo, you got to see all these dudes on the road. I'm just no, saying, I'm just saying, man. Like, Chuck, no. 
Yeah, it's hey, fucking traveling on the free throw line. He moving. Yeah, he, he traveling. Move. He moving. the line. He moving. Lane violation. Travel <laughs> all together. Shit well, don't count. Well, like, well, well, like, well, I, yeah. like I get, listen, I get the whole debate. If we had your resources, we would do this. Well, if you had our resources, your game would be different also, right? Your game wouldn't be the same. Evolution is evolution. Where's, where's the American white? Mm. They're, a, they're becoming more, flag. right? They're becoming, they're becoming athletic, losing more of the fundamental, mm. right? They're losing the fundamental. Now you're jumping into a field that you're not actually an expert at, which is athleticism. So what you had before was the the nuances of the game, the understanding of the, the courts, the nuance. You're not doing that anymore because you're trying to be athletic, but you're the, the lowest of the athleticism, right? So you're getting, you're getting pushed out of this game, and that's where the Euros coming in at because they don't have athleticism. So they're, they're, they're winning by, you know, the fundamentals of this, right? So you're telling me that if you had all of our resources, you would be this certain type of player? Evolution says, eh, yeah. no. No. Mm. I'm just saying, evolution's telling you no. Right? You're, you're playing, you're, you're playing, how tall was Rick? 6'5, 6'6? 6'5? You're guarding what? You're guarding Westbrook? You're guarding. You're, 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 huh? 6'7, you, you, six, six, Gil. 6'7? So who? who, who yeah. Jimmy Butler and all in? I can't wait for Rick Barry to pull up on you. Well, Rick, Rick gonna have a word. What's no, I mean, that Rick gonna have a word. My nigga, no, what's but, up? But what is the argument? It's just like Bob Cousy talking about, yeah, I would have I would have I would have I I stopped you. Shut up. Bob Cousy was doing shit though in his heyday, Gil. He ain't. Hey. No, but he was yeah. giving you some, he he was giving you some of this too. too. Look, <laughs> good for Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Yeah, I played against a five year old. That same shit. Get off me. That is what we do. We teach them. Yeah, come on, like, come on, man. That is what we oh, teach them, though. Yeah. You know the drill inside listen, the circle. You gotta get inside yeah, yeah, yeah. the circle. Get off me. Get, get off me. Listen, listen. Look, the, the game is being evolutionized, right? I, I listen, we get it, right? <laughs> like, and we can we can say this all we want. Oh, shit. Right? We can bat for the, the older generation. They, they had their part, just like we had our part, just like 30, 40 years from now, you know, the game is gonna be very different. The motherfuckers might be flying, right? <laughs> you know, there's gonna be somebody jumping from a three-point line. But if we ask today, <laughs> Michael Jordan, do you think Dr. J or any of those guys back, back in that day will stop you? He would laugh, right? Magic will laugh at Bob. You think Bob Cousy, he would laugh. Right, even though we're gonna def- we're gonna say, oh yeah, you know this great mm. Doctor J, you think uh, Rick Barry gonna stop you? He gonna laugh, yeah. right? Because uh, obviously they're not. Right, it is stop. You know what I mean? Just let the game keep moving, and we can say when we ha- when we did it, we was good at it. Okay, you know, but it's it's, it's done past the zone up. We we officially have broken the record for slandering the most former players <laughs> in, in a one hour window of Gills Arena. So that's a new yeah, we're not for us. slandering. We just it's just perspective. We're just having an opinion. I like that word. Just, perspective. We're just hating. <laughs> yeah, we hate. Yes. We hate. Yes. Shit. But now let's keep this thing moving. Uh, <laughs> Second to last segment of the day, but today uh, is Kobe Bryant's birthday. He would have oh, yeah. been forty five years old today. I know everybody on this couch has a tremendous amount of love and respect, and Kobe means something to you each in Mamba. different ways. But when we talk about Mamba, what, is, what does that Mamba mentality mean to you? Mamba mentality is eat or be eaten, is really what it is. Right? Now, I mean, you know, I, when he past everybody diluted what the mamba mentality is but when he was in mamba mentality no one liked it no one liked this the his thought process the selfishness that they thought was selfish but you know in reality this is the mamba mentality if i'm taking 500 shots a day and i'm working out four or five times a day um and we get into a game i don't like your work ethic so why am i passing you the ball you're selfish for actually calling for it, knowing you didn't put it work in. <laughs> That's the selfish part. The selfish part is not me. The selfish part is you wanting the ball. Or you ain't do. You was at the club last night drinking and shit and all, doing all that. And then you just coming in here smelling like booze, doing this. Yo, 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 I'm open. I <laughs> know you're not. <laughs> you're selfish. That's, that's considered selfish. So no one 
like what real Mamba mentality is. Mamba mentality is, yeah. you know, his girls' team lose, right? They all crying because they got beat by this team in a championship, and they all work their ass off to face that other team, and then they beat them by 70, and they're wondering why Kobe won't take the press off. I why would I do beat, that? I think they beat the ass by 100. By 100. Because yeah. that photo of them at the scoreboard all jumping because, up and shit. Because Kobe don't want to take the press. Why am I going to take the, the press off when my girls been thinking about this for the last six months? Right. They eating. Right. <laughs> y'all was fine when y'all was eating. Y'all was laughing and giggling. My girls is laughing and giggling now. Mm. That's, that's the mama mentality. Mm. And you said, from an outsider's perspective, the, the casual fan, they'll look at players as selfish, but that point you're elaborating on is like, y'all get to see firsthand who's actually putting the work in. I think a lot of time from the outside, we look and think, well, shit, they're in the league, so they must be working hard, when that's not obviously the reality of it. And, 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 and sports, sports is the only place where it becomes, it's a team thing, right? And then that, that, that person at the top becomes this selfish being if he's not sharing the, the, there's a reason that, like, if you're averaging 35, right, I don't need to look at you and say, yo, why are you, why are you averaging 35? There's a reason you're averaging 35. There's a reason. There's, there's, it's not rocket science. Why a motherfucker, just one person averaging 35 and the rest of them is just looking at him passing the ball? Because they haven't earned his trust yet. They haven't did nothing for him to say, all right, your turn, or you get a little bit. He's, you know, he's waiting for somebody to come over there to help him out. Nobody wants to sit there and average 40 every season. That's tiring. Yeah. It just, uh, just the world thinks it's, it's what we, you know what I mean? The, what we want to do. Go to a, go to a workplace. I want, I want everybody to go to the office, right? And you putting in, you know, how many hours motherfucker work regularly? Let's call it 60 hours. 60 hours a week? Like that's, a, that's a hell of a work week. See, okay. And 60, you working 60 hours a week, right? Yeah. What is part time a week? Anything under hours. 40, they don't want to pay your ass. So 20 hours a week. So the, the person that's averaging 60 hours, you split your bonus with the dude that's averaging 20 hours. You're not going to do it. Mm -mm. You're not going to do it. So why should a motherfucker who's sitting in the gym four hours, <laughs> you know, four times a day, split the ball with a dude who's taking full five shots in practice? I, I'm good. I'm not. It's not going to happen because mm. you're not going to do it in your regular work. So, mm. uh, I think for me, the uh, Kobe uh, mama mentality means just like relentless, um, just never giving up and never giving in. Um, I think my experiences with Kobe, um, I remember playing against him a couple of times in Milwaukee at the game winner on us. Um, I remember towards the end of his career, he was he had a he had a point where he was guarding all the point guards uh, every game. Um, and I just remember hitting a three on him, and he tapped me on the, sh uh, you know, on the side, like good shot, young fella. Um, but that was pretty cool. Um, but also, like, just I remember being in high school, um, waking up at like 5:30 in the morning, seeing him work out, you know, early. I remember us having to wear Kobe tights back in the day. We used to go to Compton Swap Meet and buy Kobe tights. Remember we started wearing the black tights. So his uh, influence on on the kids was definitely huge. Um, and I remember asking him a picture when I tore my Achilles to. Uh, Asked him, could he take a picture of my son? And he was cool about it. And took a picture of my son, just talking about life and the work ethic and what it takes to be great. And um, I really appreciated that from him. So, you know, that was my story on Kobe. Oh, you got a kid? So, uh, I mean, for me, the mentality for Kobe, you know, as a Kobe guy, man, since 2000, um, has to be the breadcrumbs that he left behind not so much of everything that he done in his career because that speaks for itself. But I think that when you talk about legacy, you talk about greatness, is what you give back to the game. And that mentality was not just an example throughout his career of his leadership, but it's what happened after he was retired and all the breadcrumbs that he left behind of what you need to do, all the videos and the inspirational, motivational clips that he left behind to give back to the next generation. <clears throat> and that's why the mama mentality lives on because if he doesn't have the perspective of giving back and telling the kids exactly what this mentality means, what it, what it embodies, not just going out there shooting a bunch of shots, but more so giving them the words of encouragement of never giving up, you know, knowing why I didn't want to pass to those guys. 
it was because you don't work harder than me. He's saying it out of his mouth. He's not just something you got to go find out from some teammate or some coach. Like he left those bur those breadcrumbs. And I think that if more players did that, the influence of the game and the culture would be more appreciated from the real standpoint of hoop, where we all really do appreciate the hoop because we played in an era where it was appreciated. And I think Kobe's mentality will live on forever because of that. Just like Michael Jordan, his, his legacy lives on because he did Michael Jordan's playground, come fly with me, Gatorade, Wheaties. These are all the things that iconically keep Michael Jordan alive along with his shoes. So Kobe took those same steps, the shoes, the commercials. Now he did the inspirational videos. He, he left all the words of encouragement and uh, that's what I appreciated about him the most. Okay. No, I just think it's a mindset. You know what I'm saying? It's a mindset. It's, it was in his heart. He believed it and he lived it, you know what I'm saying, in every aspect. Um, um, if you want something in life, you attack it. That's what he did, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, with, with, with f full force. Um, and being a father and being a husband, him changing the narrative about himself, what people might have thought of him. Um, you know, just a mindset, man, and one of the greatest competitors this game is, that this world has ever seen, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it's, yeah, be truly miss me now. It's, it's a mindset, man, and that's what the mama mentality means. It's, and Gil, you touched on a little bit, but we talk about this, and it, it's hard to be in that position as a player where you have to have those tough conversations with guys. You actually have to be the leader, leading by example, but also getting in people's shit, if these dudes don't fall in line, get them out of here. So everybody, it seems like nowadays, we're leaning more towards, and guys that play a lot with each other in the off season, summer times, they want to more be buddies. Like, but you can't really have that on the team if you want to get to that championship level. Because if guys aren't producing at the level they need to be at, then there's some tough conversations that need to be had. Listen, we, we, all, we all seen an example of it, but we, I don't know if we all really paid attention to what we was witnessing. You know, you know it was Michael Jordan, Right in the last dance when he was talking about winning and he had to stop yeah. and teared up because he's reflecting back on what he was, right? And that mentality, he was a tyrant, right? He was, a, he was just a tyrant to his teammates, to opponents, Absolutely. to the game itself. Yeah. And, you know, just him reflecting back on who he was and how he approached it. And he said, if you don't want to win that way, you don't, you don't, you don't have to, yeah. but that's that's what the the mentality is. It's 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 doggy dog. Like I I don't have sympathy for excuses. Yeah. There's no there's no room for excuses. You do it when you don't want to. If we had to all be great, <clears throat> when we felt great, <laughs> right? Yeah, right? You know, we're twenty five percent of a person, right? Greatness don't come when you're tired. I mean, don't don't come when you're 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 fully, you know, ready to do it. The greatness comes when you can't do it anymore. Yeah. And you have to will yourself to do it, like the flu game. And uh, that's where you know Kobe hurts his right shoulder. He's playing on the left shoulder. Like that's that's where your greatness the is really yeah the broken thumb. All that. That's where it comes from. That's what made Allen Iverson Iverson. Right. He's sitting there limbed up. You yeah. know, sitting there still going. There's one clip, there's one situation, all of that is accurate with you. Mm -hmm. There's one situation that defines this man, who he is, what he stood for, what he, like, in his head, his heart, his, in his soul, when he's tore ruptures Achilles. Mm -hmm. Everybody else that's ever similar injury mm -hmm. has gotten carried off the floor. Mm -hmm. This man took, this man walked to the bench, back on the floor to shoot his free throw and back to this man three trips and come on man mm -hmm. come on man yeah made the free throws <laughs> and on top of that like, let's not negate that like most guys just went up there like man this, I can't even concentrate on this rim <laughs> man this shit hurt <laughs> like you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. like that just defines who he you know what I'm saying that nah, that's facts all the championships, all that shit is great, but that moment, like, that stands out to me. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, because you didn't see other people with the same injury. You did it. Mm -hmm. 
Somebody told you to go shoot free throws, what you? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just mad. I'm saying, just be honest. I'm saying, like, yeah. somebody told you, B, go walk to the free throw line. You would have been like, what? Hold on. Like, like, do you know what this, yeah. this hurt right now? You know, yeah. like, like, but uh, this man, like, fuck, don't touch me. This man, so don't touch, like, I, no. Yeah. They trying to hear, like, don't fucking touch me. I got this. No, no one likes greatness. They appreciate it when, they, when it's going. See, but nobody, nobody likes it because wow. it's not attractive. Mm -hmm. it, the majority of this world is lambs just ready to be eaten. To be Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Right? Yeah, so yeah, when, yeah. A, when a real wolf or lion come in, they do not like what it looks like. Absolutely. They don't like what it looks like, but they want to be a part of it. They want to be a part. Yeah. But they don't like, want you know to what be I'm a part. Like, yeah, like, there's it's a carcass like, there. They it's don't like, eat. It's like, yeah, yeah, go, go, go. And then when you get there, it's like, oh, shit. It's, yeah. like, they, it's like they scared of who you're going to become or... Yeah. Or something like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like, at no, the end of the day, it's like, I'm going to keep doing, it's like, like, like why do you think I'm in it? Mm -hmm. Like, like, like why would you bring wolves, your ass right? over here? It's like a pack of wolves, right? Yeah. yeah. You got the hunters, right? That carcass, that everybody, the, 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 the last dog, he going to eat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the other ones did the work. The same, same shit you're saying. They don't, want to, they don't want to be part of the hunt. Yeah, they, don't, they, they <laughs> like, bring it up the rear. They bring it up the rear. Right, so how do you, like, monitor it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't. So, how so, do you see it? Yeah, yeah, like, how do you, like, you know, put people, I guess, I mean, it's kind of like put people in their place. Like, you know, like, who you want to really, Tell them the you, truth, like, you know, like, when it's time for business and it's time to go get mm -hmm. it, you know who you, you know, and then you know when it's like, all right, this person ain't really, you know, he on the edge or, or like, you know, don't, mm -hmm. or it's kind of lazy. So, like, how do you monitor it? Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody wants to be a part when you're hot. But, so, like, how do you monitor it? You can't. It's, you go out and you do you what can, you though. do, and you. And if I say something to you in a moment, then I'm a firm believer in this. Man, when it comes to sports, most things like, but when it comes to sports, put your feelings in your pocket. <coughs> no, right. Put your fucking feelings in your pocket, dog. Say it again. Put, put, put your, your feelings, feelings in, in your, your pocket. Put your right. fucking feelings in your fucking pocket. I'm saying? But what about in life, too, though? Like, Same? What about in, in, in life? For the most part, but, but you have to be more nurturing in life because you deal with different people. I'm saying? Okay. But in sport, we all, like, we in this locker room, we all here for supposedly a same goal. The goal is winning. Mm -hmm. That's what we're supposed to be here for. Mm -hmm. Everybody don't, it ain't, but that's what it's, on surface, yeah. that's what it's supposed to be. It's about winning. <clears throat> if you win, you get paid, you get paid. All those things equate, in my opinion, to winning. But along this path to winning, what Kobe did was, this is prime what I'm saying, why the fuck am I pass you the ball? You ain't working. Mm -hmm. And he gonna tell you that. And if it hurts your feelings, I don't care. Because I didn't put the work in. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm able to say that to you in the moment. Or in my situation, we ain't playing fucking defense and I come in, you fucking suck, you ain't da 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 da, -da. Mm -hmm. I can say that. Because I know what I'm doing each fucking possession down this bitch. I can call you out and tell you. <laughs> so it's, it's that. You know what I'm saying? Put your feelings in your pocket because I'm, I'm able to stand on what what I'm saying, and if it hurts your feelings in the moment, oh well, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I, 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 in my situation, I hope it does hurt your feelings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really do. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying because he gets to see where you he gets to yeah. see who you are. Yeah, it's, so like, it's so, accountability, bro. It's accountability. Heavy is the head that wear the crown, bro. So leadership like, is long. How do y'all deal with carrying like dead weight? Cut it. Like dead weight, but but that's family, or like that's your friend, or like you know what I'm saying, or is whatever. But it's dead. <laughs> like 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 you know what I'm saying. Like all right, I feel like since I've been on this podcast, right, I've been around everybody here does something, right, and I'll be around staff and I see everybody does something. So that's what I want around me. I want everybody to, to that does something. Like you shouldn't be around me if you don't have anything to offer. Yeah, add add to like, me. Like you know what I'm saying. Is that selfish of me to feel like no no? Like, it's, you know, it's selfish for the person that has nothing to offer that wants to just leech. Yep. You have to turn. You have to turn it on the other side too. What is the value? Your value is what? Asking for money, begging, yeah, sitting just, around. Just no, here. that's what that. Is that what is your value? You yeah. If you bring no value, if you ain't motherfucker picking out shirts, if you ain't going to the shirt place, you ain't, if you ain't if you are not helping, eventually get cut anyway. Right. Life cuts you. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> like, right, right. I'm just. I'm, I'm, life cuts you. Right. Right. You know that's just anything in life. It, mm. Listen. You, the reason majority of the world look at us like with a side side face yeah. because they don't they haven't realized that 
we are the wolves in society, mm-hmm. right? Sports is wolves. To be in the professional, you have to be some type of wolf, right? right? You're not lamb. Lamb is what we, we cut through to get there, right, right. right? By the time we get there, we're all wolves. I mean, some degree of wolves. Some, some degree. degree. Right. We, yeah, some you know degree. what I mean? We might be, you know, we might have a little bit, but for the most part, we're all, once we got there, we're some type of wolf. And from there, we get weeded out. Yeah by everyone else. The mm-hmm. tougher wolves of a locker room lets us know who's who any goddamn way. Right, yeah. right, right. Right? You know, from the little things we do, you know what I mean? We tell a nigga shut up and then his reaction lets us know if he's, mm-hmm. if that's him anyway. Don't fuck with him. Right? You know, <laughs> or if we're going in and, and, and the, the, the player's going at his head and we sitting like, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Hey, motherfucker keep coming at you. <laughs> he's calling you sweet. What you gonna do? Right, right, right. right? No, we're not, no. We're not doubling him. No, coach, no double. What you gonna do? Yeah. Man up for yourself. Because it ain't about if you get scored 50 on. Are you actually taking this fucking challenge? Taking, taking that challenge. For the team. That's why when Dylan Brooks, that, that's why, you know, when we looked at Dylan Brooks, you called him out. You called out him. Yep. Right? We, we, we have no, you stopping him, but we didn't think, we, we don't care if you can stop him or not. Right. Are you taking the challenge? Mm. In the media, because that's where you said it at, in the media and in the game, you're supposed to stand tall. That lets your, your, your teammates know of you, you, him, and we can rely on you. Let me give you an example, though. We played in the Big Three together, won the championship, and I was fucking up on some defensive possessions. One in particular, I just didn't agree because I don't like giving up points. Like, don't fucking foul, shot. Stop, fuck, don't give up. Just, Literally, don't foul. Let him score. Mm-hmm. And I fucking fouled anyway. And this nigga let me have it in the locker room. Now, at any time when you a player that feel like you know it all, you can say something back, one, he's the leader. Two, he's a fucking defensive monster, and I look up to him. But three, I know what team is, and I know what accountability is. Mm-hmm. And I know when I fuck up, somebody's supposed to get on me. Like, literally supposed to, like, yo... You fucked up the coverage, bro. And it's, it's, it's not okay. Mm-hmm. He let me fucking have it. Right? So I'm this, it's, I had to sit there and take that shit. Mm-hmm. And it, 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 and it helped me respect him more because it was like, we just came off a championship. There's nothing that you could say to me to make it okay with what you was doing. But as a leader, me as a leader and him as a leader, there's a respect level that does not go beyond personal. I don't have a judgment of him saying what he had to say at whatever severity. Because he said some shit mm-hmm. that any, any other nigga man took personal. Mm-hmm. But me, I'm like, yo, <clears throat> you right. You absolutely fucking right. I fucked up and that's how it's going to be. We're going to leave it in this locker room. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to take it outside of here. Not going to be none of that. Up. And a lot of guys don't understand that when you got a passionate leader that someone has done it and, and you respect them, that you, you, you show that respect because you got to hold yourself accountable. And that's what we don't have in this game is guys that holding themselves accountable to real, true leadership when it's some time for you to fucking pay attention. And I'm on you, like, I'm on you. I'm not on you just because it's my ego and I'm trying to tell you some shit just to, so I can get, take the power. It's, yo, we want to win, period. If you don't tell you shit, I mean, he don't give a fuck. That's really, you know, like, I think sometimes, like, even when we, we talk about Draymond, right, and he's yelling, we can, we can, from the outside, if we never played, we can say, oh, look, look at him, doing what he's doing again. Yeah, but if I, he's not doing that, that means he gave up yep, on you. Yep. Like, if you sitting there fucking around, missing assignments, and I'm not, I'm not saying shit to you, that means I gave up on you. I don't give a fuck about it. Get his ass you. out. Just get, get his ass out. <laughs> get his ass out. You know what I mean? If I'm like, yo, you're going to get back, you're going to snap back. If I don't say shit, fuck him. Just like your teacher. Uh, if I, if I, or just a coach. If I yeah. stop yelling at you, that means I gave up on you. That just that that's everything in life. Mm-hmm. You know, when your girl stop arguing with you. Oh shit, she about to move out. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah that's the situation. Yeah, call my lawyer. Hot assets. But it's very it's, it's <laughs> and that's the situation where <laughs> it's rare that you have the guy who's the best player. Leading scorer, best player, and also is that for that, the team. The alpha, yeah, you know I, that is, yeah. That's rare. You know what I'm saying? Like, Melo didn't have to say shit in them. Mm-hmm. 
Like he on. Put the 27, 28 night, nigga, I, I got you. Mm -hmm. Nigga say something, do something, and he's like, I, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm the speak up guy. I got you. I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah, I remember that. Like, I'm, 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 and people, just because somebody is that, like, yeah, great guy. But he just, he wasn't the vocal of that. With that so the, I took that on. Mm -hmm. and that's who I am. I'm saying? And rare that you have that and you've seen it in very few guys. You know what I'm saying? Very few. Very few guys. And that's. Like and that Dwayne, just, Wade, Dwayne Wade. Well, Haslam. Haslam. You know what I'm saying? He, yeah. He wasn't. Dwayne ain't had to say shit. He just looked like, at Haslam. Yeah, UD got that. <laughs> like, you know oh, saying? shit. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like him and UD, it was a certain standard. Everything new, like if. Yeah, when once UD say something, mm -hmm. oh shit, mm -hmm. you know I'm saying, and this it, it's, and it's like I said, it's rare that you have a guy that's the the best player, that's the alpha, and he was that, and I, I, yeah, it's just that's what stands out in in all these situations. You know I'm saying what you stand on, how you able to relay it, and your work ethic, and and, and what people perceive you as. You know what I'm saying, like a lot of like people used to ask, still. And, we're talking about it now, and like, I would have loved to have been on the team with Kobe. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I wasn't a gym rat by any stretch of imagination, but I showed up, I did my motherfucking job. You know what I'm saying? And people used to complain that he was on them and you're too hard on you. And like, how? <laughs> Man, trying to win. Mm -hmm. Like, how am I too hard when I'm trying, we trying to accomplish something in here? Like, how am I too hard on you? Mm. Like, why am I saying what, what, how am, how what I'm saying is affecting you in a way? You know what I'm saying? Personally. Like, like that shit baffles me. It, it does, but it's just like, it's just like anything, right? Like, um, we watched, we watched Steph work out, right? Mm -hmm. It wasn't even work out. It was like his, yeah, his pre-routine, pre right? 22 minutes, took about 200, 270 shots, right? That's counting. Um. In 20, in, in 20 minutes, 22 minutes. We think we know what work is. We think we have an answer until we see something mm -hmm. better, right? So when, when, when Kobe's talking to, you know, these younger guys and he's like, I need more. And dude's like, yeah, well, I took 300 shots. What the fuck is 300 shots? Mm -hmm. Right? What, what is that? What, you ran two miles. What is two miles? What was, you know what I mean? Because he's, he's at a whole nother level. And he probably started off at a higher level than what he's looking at. So his, his, his fuse is a little short because he, he understands to get here, I know what it takes. And I'm telling you, you ain't doing shit. Mm. Like, I thought I was a workaholic, right? Until I, you know, I'm in the gym and Chris Mullins there. And he's like, yeah, it's cute. <laughs> but here, let's do it like this. And 45 minutes with him was a whole, <laughs> I'm sitting there like, <laughs> what, what's going on here? And it was like, this is, this is what working out is. This is and I had to rewire everything. I had to throw everything I knew away and, and do this. I like, I like this. This, is, this, is, this got me tired. I'm over here running, thinking I'm doing some shit in 45 minutes with you. A new challenge. It's a new challenge. Yep. And I think sometimes when, when people get on us, we get in our we do get in our feel. Eh, you know, we're I think at, in sports we're the we're the we're the prima donnas of Absolutely. sports. Absolutely. Um, we're the basketball players is the prima donnas because from the ages of ten all the way until we get to the NBA, there's really no bad news on us. There's really no, no one's talking bad about it. Ain't nobody writing bad stories. College, no, no one's writing bad stories in college on us, right? We're all cheered. If we're getting booed, it's because we're great, right? Yeah, we're going to a different arena. You're booing us and, you know, you're overrated. You know, I got 38, you know, blah, blah, blah. NBA is the first time we get our feelings hurt, mm -hmm. right? And that hurts our feelings. You know, think about it. You're 20 years old. The first time you see something bad, you know, you're like, wait, wait. Who are you? What is this? Why are you writing like this? Gilbert's a ball hog. Yeah, he's selfish. He don't want to play like this. Like, I know only I know I had zero assists, but shit, he ain't, he ain't had to put it in the paper like this for everybody. My, my daddy gotta read this shit. Daddy gotta read but, this shit. And, that, and that's what ends up happening. We we get in our feelings because this is the first time we've been really.
pick that. Yeah. You know, and it's a different feeling for the first time. So, you know, when, when people say, you know, NBA players are prima donna, you're right. You're right, dude. <laughs> they ain't gonna stop us from. They ain't gonna stop us from fucking whining, goddamn it! I can tell you that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we just started, motherfucker. We just started, you know. Facts. Well, that's real, gentlemen. I think that's a, a good place to, to stop that convo. Happy birthday, Kobe. Happy birthday. We appreciate Happy you. Birthday. Yeah. Uh, so let's get into mostly fans. Last segment of the show. Open some good questions, man. You know damn well they ain't gonna be no high questions. school class of '96. They're gonna be like this, baby. Brandon, where you get them sandals from? Think I made it. Next question. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Block him. <laughs> Block him. Think I made it. <laughs> uh, we gotta say yeah. Nah, I'm, I'm never a fan of the block. Why? Because they just don't create it. motherfuckers every day, all day. Oh, no, of course. 24 Believe 7. Me. Of course, but. For real? On what? a YouTube platform, just create a new page and they'll come, come back. On my page with some bullshit, boy, you'll never be seen again. Nah, you just gotta do what I do. Pull up on them? No, I just wait like an hour, and then I just, I just thumb up, like, thumb up, like, thumb up heart, thumb up heart, thumb up heart. I don't give a fuck what you say, thumb up heart. <laughs> give me your suck. Thumb up heart. Show <laughs> suck. Thumb up heart. <laughs> like, like I, my algorithm, I'm trying to keep my algorithm up. I want all the hearts, I want all the chest. The thumb up, I'm thumbing up everybody. I don't this give a fuck Gil, what this you is, This is Gil's love of I, I don't care right. what you say, your kid's ugly. Thumb. Like, um, like you, just you, me something. you can go to my page back and you can see how they kids this like <laughs> heart like heart does it heart, heart. <laughs> heart. Pin, and no and now I can pin shit I'm pinning shit I don't give a fuck about none of that I don't give a fuck about none you of that you taught me something just now what? Embrace it. I changed my love. Hey, that's what I'm saying. Anybody a hater? I block you. I block a like and a thumb up. I, hey, I, my block, my block game is like, like, said, like offensive lineman, boy. I'm on the block in the hell. Oh, you gotta embrace it. You gotta embrace it. You gotta see the pain in people's heart and see that they're projecting, right? If you go through, and look at the chest. A lot of projection going on. It is. It is. I don't mean, project that shit on my. Yeah, I know. Uh, We're yeah, all sensitive yeah. one way or another, but <laughs> then it's like, wait, you're watching this show, commenting. So, shit, my family's a little bit more sensitive. Yeah, I'm trying to get 10,000 thumb ups. I gotta help it. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Should I get in trouble for spamming? <laughs> I gotta take a break. <laughs> but the best thing with the hater, though, is you can respond back to them, and they're obviously gonna come back more than people oh, who rock. So, yeah, they, they all gonna go every, every move. Yeah. yeah. But first, I appreciate that. Yeah, first question comes from D Mac Mixes. That's his underdog name or her. Y'all start. Y'all have a starting four on the couch. Who would be your fifth player to put on the team? Tina Thompson. Wait, what are we doing? What are we doing with the starting five? Are we playing basketball? I think to have a game. We need a center. Shaq. No, I think they're talking about on the couch. <laughs> they're talking about on the couch. They're talking about just on the couch. No, you're it's four it. right now. Yeah, just four, not playing a game. One, two, three, four. Who's the, who's, who's the fifth? I think for a game. For a game. Now y'all to go play in the Drew. Hey, you are or, hilarious. Or, you know that? Oh, my, oh, we talking about that. Oh, oh, um, to play, play in the game. That's hilarious. Jack. Oh. Yes. Um, Stop, man. Mm, oh, uh, I just thought I just heard what he said. Mm, um, <laughs> we, uh, <laughs> to play in the game. <laughs> we, who y'all want? Game. We need a center. Leave me alone, man. I'm letting, I'm letting this man play the center, man. Uh-huh. Y'all going small ball? Who, yeah, who we y'all, going who y'all bringing ball, in? Oh, man. So we going to go with Dirk? Joker? Joker. 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 Cool. Joker. Cut. Are we talking about players right now? Yeah. Whoever. Yeah. We ain't yeah. got to play no defense. We got them two motherfuckers back there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's on LeBron, man. Chai, LeBron. go here. Shit. Can help. <laughs> help. 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 Too goddamn little, man. I'm going to play the small forward, though. Shit. So. LeBron played the four. <laughs> Next question comes from underdog user Big Face Mix. Which player under 25 do you see winning the MVP next? Under mm. 25. Luca. Mm. Luca. Luca next. Ja. You think they'll let Ja win the MVP, Gil? No way. They come back. They come back? No way. They come back? The It'd be like that Derrick Rose situation. <laughs> right? Where the team is actually the team is actually good. So they can fuck around. They can fuck around, be number one in, in, in the West somehow just because, and he's the best player on it. You know, like when Derrick Rose, Derrick Rose only averaged 24 that year he, he won an MVP. But he was innocent. No, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not no, talking about No, no, you're talking about, about just. You're I'm just talking about just. I'm not talking about that. Because how old is Ja? How old is Ja? 21, 22? Ja's not 21. 22? 
Josh, 24. 24. Oh, 24. Yeah, I'm about to say. How old is Luca? Luca's say Anthony 24. Edwards. I was going to say Anthony Edwards. 24. So, yeah, it would have to be. Yeah, 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 no, no, no. Kenyon, Ken, yeah, Anthony Edwards. Anthony oh. Edwards. Because his team is, yeah, his team is good enough. Say Anthony yeah. Edwards. If Luca can get it next year, that would be the first, right? I think Luca is I think in Luka line. could get it this year. That's what I'm saying. This, this, coming, up, this coming up year. They got to make the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, but that's what I'm saying. Are, is the team good enough for them to be one, two, three? I think just your play. Nah. I don't even think it, it should even matter. Was, I, know, I, I, I go by it shouldn't matter about the team. The best player in NBA, I mean, the it most dominant. Go, yeah. But what was, you know, what was the Sixers? Once it was number two? Who? Sixers when Joel. How can you be the most valuable to your team and y'all got a losing record? How can, you be, how can you be the most valuable player and y'all yeah. fucking lose? Because your team's so hard. Because your team's hard. Yeah, because your team's hard. Yeah, <laughs> <team's hard. laughs> they got these Mickey D players on my team. They had a winning record. Hmm? They had a winning record. Who? He talking about they was a six seed. I said they had a winning record. That's all that matter. The fuck? When Joker won it? Yeah. I mean, when um, yeah, Joker. Embiid? No, Joker. Yeah, yeah they, had, they had a winning record. Yeah, they tricked it off the last two years. Yeah, but... but so, Anthony Edwards, so they even have I think Anthony Edwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good one, that's a good one. Absolutely, I'm not... That's a good one. Fuck, Pat rewarding you because y'all, you putting up numbers and y'all suck. Mm. Like, that's why I don't like that playing shit, like, rewarding the 10th seed. Mm. Yeah, I don't like that. Like, fucking, like, if 89, if y'all got a, if y'all tied, if 89 are tied, play, or y'all within again. a game, maybe, mm-hmm. then yeah, y'all play to see who get in. But why is you, why are you rewarding the 10th seed? What fuck 10th team seed? That got that team that was trash all year all long. Year long. Get a chance to, you got a chance to put the 8th seed out. And they, yeah, come, steal like, it, come on, steal man. Steal it. <laughs> That's fucking terrible. They, they're trying to make the, the last part of the NBA. Like I said, I always said, listen, do not reward last. You, you, you start rewarding last place, I guarantee you, nobody want to be in that motherfucker, for real. Yeah. Last place gets the sixth pick, not a chance to get the one, two. Oh, yeah, I want to be last. So yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we're going to win, go win out of last place. I can tell you that's yeah, the show. Yeah, they cap with you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, so next question from underdog user Stevie B. Joen. He says, if KG and Duncan switch teams, who's winning the most ranks? KG and Duncan? Switch teams. Uh, uh, KG got drafted to the Spurs and Duncan. Minnesota. <laughs> Minnesota. Uh, I mean, Minnesota. I, I guess I, I, who would have won the most championships? That's a good question. That's a great That's a question. good question. So Not do, really. Do y'all, do y'all no, the best no, question. You think the no. talent changes? No, it's KG. It's KG. It's KG. What, because what Tim, you think about because, that? Because you guard both of them. Um, like, y'all got what changes? Y'all got Tim Duncan fucked up. What no, y'all got team? no, no, no. Y'all not realizing Tim the the, the team it's Tim the got. You know you it's got you. It's David Rob. It's David it's Robinson. Um, you got uh, so Tim Duncan Elliot, gonna be good because of the Elliot. John Elliott. You, you Mario right, he's Elliott. Still a Hall of Famer. Yeah. Hey, on a, yo, B, he's on still a Hall of Famer. No, no, I'm saying so he's only good because of the system. Just say that. No, he's still a Hall of Famer. No. No, so he's still a Hall because, of no, 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 right, right, so he's only good because of No, he's huh? still a Hall of Famer. Of right. The system is the coach. When did he get drafted? The system is the coach. 95, 97. No, um, Tim Duncan, 98. 95 and 97. 97. Asking oh, the question. Fuck up. Is it because of the yeah. system? Is that, is that 95 why? 95 and 97, no, right? No, but what, what I'm saying is he has in a, when you're saying winning the championship, you put KG there. That's what I'm Think saying. about the team he's coming in on. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's so, coming in on a number, like on KG, the team that was number one team. KG, so as KG we is better than uh, Tim Duncan. Nah, because KG no. wouldn't play. Yeah, he wouldn't be the four. He wouldn't have played like Tim Duncan because Tim Duncan was national player of the year. He was a four-year college player. Fair. It would take a couple of years. To, you know what I'm, I'm saying? Just he, was, he was seasoned. But, but, so but KG, KG, ready KG, for that Tim yeah, KG but, would have been at that spot by 97, hypothetically. Yeah, it took KG two years. No, what I'm but saying, he been but at what that. if you switch him? But what I'm saying is if you switch him, you got one who's coming on a team that's already dominant. And he's just a fill-in piece. Right? You're talking about Tim? Tim. Versus KG coming onto a bad team, to, and he has to work himself up and build that. You team. still put him next to David Robinson. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You're David. still putting him, John Elliott, David. So Robinson. who fault is that? Nobody's. Nobody. Oh, you got your just just underdog got fans. Nobody. 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 I'm just saying, like, y'all making excuses, like, well, if no, he went here, it's no, like, no, no, well, no, I mean, no. what you want me to do? No, like, no, like, 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 what do you want me no, to no, do? Saying, As a player, but what do you want me to do? Uh, okay, well, don't go here. Don't drive me here. Drive me to the sorry ass team so I can prove it. No, 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 no. I mean, shit. What you fucking Think about 99% of number one picks are going to bottom feeding teams where you have to build that legacy yourself. Then there's these greats. That they're considered top ten, can top we twenty players of 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 
this game that when you look at where they got drafted, they got drafted to a team that came out the gates winning 60 games. So their legacy. Can I see that proof? Can I see that proof with Tim Duncan? Yo, can I see that proof with Tim Duncan teams before he got there? I want to see their team before they got there. I want to see the Spurs teams before before Tim Duncan got there. So the year before they got them, they were nasty. No, the year okay. before that. Okay. Okay. Year before like that. Three or four years before that, though, they were like 50 wins. Like three or 50 four. 50 wins. 50 wins every year. They just had that one bad year. And they set, that's when they set everybody to get the number one pick. I'm, go, I'm ooh. They oh. set everybody. They set Tim Duncan. I mean, uh, David Robinson, so, all that bullshit. So do we think Tim Duncan would win championships with the Minnesota Timberwolves? No. No, that's what I'm saying. So they, they basically but saying why? KG's a better player than Tim Duncan. Because that's basically Tim saying Tim Duncan. No, nah, because I think because I mean mm. they're basically they're basically saying KG is a better player than Tim. But, Duncan. but, but no, no, think about what we're saying, no, right? But That's who was on the Tim? Think about what we're saying. The, the year before, I mean, before Tim Duncan got there, fifty games, fifty games, fifty games, and then Tim Duncan's in the draft, and they tank it like they did this year to get Wimby, and then you add Tim Duncan to a fifty team. Uh, t- you, the national player of the year to a team that's winning 50 games in the NBA. You see how fucking... They won on a lockout year, too, though. They won on a lockout year, so that was kind of janky. But what I'm saying is... You're, the lockout year is you're, janky against you're, the, you're, the you're, Knicks. You're, you're adding a national player of the year. Yeah. That was 99. That was yeah. the first one. Yeah. Who was the national player of the year this year? I don't even know. Mm-hmm. But look, Tim, <laughs> Tim <laughs> Duncan was nasty, bro. I get it. Four-year player, two-year national player of the year, like, uh, coming uh, like, wherever he went. At? They had a chance. Oh, he, to not, he don't know what he's looking at. Yeah. Eddie G from uh, Purdue, big boy. Yeah, hey, you went what? That. Number five? Yeah, number five. Yo, I, I beat you to the punch. No, he didn't. Me. So I'm like Doogie Howser. Either there. if they switch roles, they both still be Hall of Famers, okay. like they are. Okay. They, it doesn't take away from the skill set of what the work they put in. So the question is, so, who wins more? So 94, 95. So that would be. Hold, hold on. Yeah, yeah, no, you. They're gonna like if he gets what? traded to the same team. They won 60, they went 62 and 20, 94, 95, 59 and 23. Then the next year, 60 or 20 and 62 to get Tim Duncan. And then 56 wins, then 37 and 13, then 53, then 58, then 58, then 60, then 50. Because at that point, once you added Tim, once you added the national player to the year to a team that won 62 fucking games. So, I mean, any player could say that then. No. Yeah, any, so, so, KG, uh, okay. so if you get KG, you're saying those num- do those numbers change? Or, or what? So, no, so, you're, no so, you're, you're, you're the number one. So do one the Spurs win it that, that, in, in 99? Do the Spurs win it in 99 if they draft KG? KD? I mean, yeah, uh, KG. KG. Yes. Some straight barbershop shit. You're, you're, what I'm saying is you're adding the last... Okay, when LeBron came in the league, right? And KG's not the number one pick, and he's out of high school. LeBron came in in 20... Uh, okay, LeBron came For in... For four years in the Spurs franchise. How, how about this? LeBron came in in 2023, right? Yeah. Or 2003. 2003. Those are 2002, 2003. Spurs... Spurs was... Uh, 50 plus game uh, team. What if in 2001, 2002, they tanked it? Uh, they won. They end up winning 50, 58 games that year. What if they tanked it? And what you think they get LeBron? And they get LeBron Wait, to that you. team. You see, you see what the fuck happens now. Now you got LeBron with Tim Duncan, Ginobili, and Parker. Yeah. There's a fucking whole okay. different. And, and, okay. Now his legacy. Now his legacy is whole different because now he's winning. Six, seven championships. But he's still LeBron James, right? Added to a team. But what I'm saying is but I also LeBron think, James added to winning off the rip. But I also think, think that but I also think the Cavs still get the number one pick, but then but then you got Melo, he goes to like Detroit or something like but that. But I'm but I'm just saying, but if if the Spurs get the number one pick when LeBron's coming with this team just because they had a bad year. But I'm saying we're not we're not tanking, we're not we're we're, we're it, it, it's, it, it sucks because that's what happened to majority of these top 10 players that were considering greats. Majority of them, someone tanked. Someone was good, tanked that one year for them. And then they added them, and then boom, this is all we need. Well, we got to talk about the hypothetical of KG going to the Spurs in a system that's already established, right? Dave, David Robinson retires. You leave it to KG with mm-hmm. the Spurs, right? Tim Duncan being a four-year player, number one pick, two-year national player of the year on that team was left the reins because he was proven. KG was drafted five out of high school, wasn't proven yet. It took him time with a bad team 
to establish to be mm-hmm. the big ticket. If Tim Duncan goes to Minnesota, off the bat, number one pick, it's not taking him two, three years to establish himself. He's automatic. Who was that? Tom Gugliotta? That was J.R. Ryder? Uh, <laughs> who was the point guard? Uh, 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 Brandon, Hudson? Brandon, Hudson uh, and- uh, uh, Brandon, uh, Terrell was Terrell, Terrell Brandon. Brandon. Terrell Brandon. I mean, I mean like trouble. they was solid, Trash. but ticket ticket wasn't the the guy to go to for the mm-hmm. championship type of feel. So I'm looking like I can't say that the Timberwolves wouldn't have won because Tim Duncan was a different type of player. Like but he was a generational pick that transformed. the a, a whole organization. He didn't transform nothing. That's what I'm saying. What he got that? him a check. They didn't win a championship before he got there. They were the number one team. But he, they that. didn't win. Think about what I'm saying. They're the number one I team. I get it. But they still didn't Num- win. Number one, number one. Lost, tank, lost. Tank to get him. Then they won. Yeah. Because oh. he, because of his, because of him. Because of him. Because of him, Gil. They won because of him. They, I don't give a fuck who the number one pick is at that time. You have to. You give me the number one. If you're I'm still going to be one number team, one. But you, you're going to be number one still. Who's the number one team this year? Denver? Denver. Right? Yeah. Denver takes it next year to get the number one pick. Does it make that number one pick a great? Because he's coming on a team that's a championship team? Yeah, but we're not talking about a championship team. We're talking about a team that was good enough to be considered number one. They, they still wasn't the champ. They wasn't the champions. They needed another piece. Yes, they need another. But you're adding a number one player in the country. So KG. King, who was the number one? If you put KG there, he's who, not the number one player. When he was the player. number one pick, what if you got drafted to the Lakers? You know what, Lord? <laughs> you still, you still, what if he got drafted to the Spurs? Like, this I'm is saying, what we're though. talking about. We're not talking about KG's um, not the number one pick, though. This is what I'm saying. But you're I'm saying. I don't need him to be the great. I already have a team. I already have a team that's in place. We just need one more piece. We don't give a fuck how good you are at the, we don't I don't need you ready. Come on, bro. I don't need you ready. They would have won before he got there then. They wouldn't have tanked it. What do you mean? They did tank. They wouldn't have if they didn't need another piece. I tank because I have the ne- Tim you want you, If you're number one, number one, then you tank. Why I did, see, you, why did well, you think? Tank? Think about it. I, all I'm missing is who? A four man. This is the number one player in the country. What position does he play? He, he plays the four. Hey, 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 sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. The rest of y'all go play. So if we switch roles, KG's not the number one player. To easy come, and he's coming out of high school. He has a better chance of winning more because he's on a number one team. You're not, you're not taking account that it's the, I, I the number that. one I, team. We're adding this foreman. We're having a seven-footer. Even if he just plays defense, it that. heightens our chances versus Tim Duncan going to a bottom-feeding team. Now he has to work this, this system. Because... I believe that he's good enough to do that. <laughs> they wouldn't he win was good game. enough to do that. Well, we're going to win a championship over who? The Lakers? Spurs? With, with, with David Robinson and KG? <laughs> Tim Duncan was good, man. <laughs> Tim Duncan was good, He was good because he has a great team around him. So, okay. That's what I wanted you to say. There's a great team around him. Just like Magic. If Magic went to, who was number one? Who was the last pick? So, so Tim Duncan doesn't win without the good guys around him. <laughs> At the beginning? I'm asking. His first year. Does just he win his first year if he goes to? I'm not no. saying the first year. I'm just saying. Like, no. If, he, if Tim Duncan goes to the Timberwolves, he doesn't win a championship. No. All right. His first year? First no, year? not just, just period. We don't know. I mean, you don't know after that. I mean, you don't, you, you don't know. Now you're facing Shaq and the question Kobe. Is how, how, who wins now you're facing Shaq and Kobe with a, a Timberwolves team. That's... Sam and, and look the trails pretty well. And you know what? How do you know you'll go there? You know. You got Marbury. You got, you got them. When you coming How there. do we know Jenova and them go there? How do you know they get picked there? Because they was already picked. No, they wasn't. It's 1999. Jenova was a second round pick, dude. That's how good they were good. Saying, Are you not understanding? Jenova wasn't a first round pick. You just said, Parker was the last pick in the first round. You just said, That's how good. Think about. You just said Latrell and they, Sam they, may not be there. They, blah, they, blah, 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 blah. So they, I'm saying they, if that's the case, then listen, that's the listen, case. Listen to what you, you're saying. The greats that came after Mario Ellie and them went, right? They were so good. They didn't have. What great? Tony Parker was the last pick, right? He's a Hall of Famer. He was the last pick. In the first round. Not a top five pick, not a top ten pick. He was they were so good, that's the pick they got. 
that pick. Ginobili was a second round pick. That's how good they were. A second round pick. The team was good. They're picking second round. They don't have top five picks. That's how good they are. That's what you're not, they're good. They're just adding. And those guys became great because of the system and the greatness that was around them. They're not being, dra- they're not getting number one, number two picks and building what Tim Duncan would have been doing at that point. Because they'd have been sorry as fuck. Because it's Timberwolves. Sorry, shit. That was a great hypothetical conversation. <laughs> that was crazy. That went deep on some, some hypothetical was, shit. That was crazy. Hey, yo, who y'all think the most influential out of California? Hmm? Hoopers? Frank Nitty? <laughs> For real? You think so? That's what's up. That's what Magic. I heard. That's what I heard. I heard no, Frank Nitty. Not from LA. I heard Frank Nitty. No. I, I heard Frank Nitty. Who, you know who Frank Nitty is? No, I know I who am. Frank Nitty is. Do you I know am. who Frank Nitty is? I am. Most influential out of what was it, LA? Yeah. <sighs> like, it's just the fact that people be having like, com- like comments on like shit when they not from LA. It's crazy. I'm just saying. You got to know the but culture. It's all right, though. The culture says Frank Nitty. Just know I got the last week of this whole podcast, so you know how it's going to get. That's how it's going to get. And I'm going to end on the feel? 31st the right way. Is that how you and fucking on, feel? And on that play, note. Play fucking stupid oh, games. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. On that note. That's how you <laughs> on that note, this has been another episode of Gills Arena presented by Underdog Fantasy. We will see y'all tomorrow. Oh, how you fucking feel? Yeah, we'll get personal on the 31st. Look, with the honor call for greatness, the